<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Roll Call. Roll Call. <sighs> welcome to tonight's episode of our Bards and Nobles campaign. So excited to be here and be playing this week. I'm excited because last week ended with a bang. <laughs> All right, that was a good session, everyone. Everyone have a good night. We'll see you next week. Chet's got a hole in his chest. <laughs> we got a whole lot of problems. It's so, not from Morena, thankfully. And it's not a holy <laughs> problem. All right. No. So before we get into la joke. the recap of last week, let's pass it around the table again for the updates. Oh, uh, last week we played on Friday. Go figure. That's what we do. Um, and then on Saturday, again, you can always catch Sam playing vampire-y stuff, and Sunday they have the recap show. Monday was the video post on YouTube. Thursday was the debut of our new recap show called History Check. Uh, at this rate, we're going to have a full set of dice here with all the logos. Yeah, no, that's the goal. That's the goal. We just need to get there. We need a D8, technically. I think it's the last one we need. Okay, it's going to be called Date Check. N no, no, no. It has to be. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we start a dating app. <laughs> Date check. Okay, continue oh, on. <laughs> Which is a five minute recap show, uh, or it's a short recap show. This one averaged about five minutes, where uh, this past episode we had Brandon recap the episode, and that brought us to today, which means next week we'll have the same kind of course of action. Sam will be on Vampire tomorrow and Sunday. Monday will be this video on YouTube. And Thursday will be another history check, doing another quick recap of the episode. And then we'll be playing Friday. Yay. That sounds about right. Anything else anyone wants to add? All right. I hate you. Today's game is sponsored by nobody yet. But if you're a sponsor and you want to sponsor us, please. Please send. Give us money. Send money, please. Money, please. Money, money please. please. <laughs> I get paid from dice for food. That also works. Yeah, all that money is going to go for, towards dice, so dice are also acceptable. And that goes into D&D &D snacks. 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 <laughs> all right, so where we last left off, last session, after a great morning, the day of Chet's uh, speech... Uh, with Chet and Morena, um, um, love blossomed. Shut love up! <laughs> shut your mouth. It did. Um, and after yes, Chet between Thorn and Hemnes. Yes, love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> after Chet prepared the day, presented his work to the council, and then ultimately crushed his presentation for the school, they had an after party to celebrate Chet's success and Chet's now professor status within the college whenever he so chooses to teach. He can now teach at this university. Uh, he was greeted by an unfamiliar face sent by a foe from his past. And without a moment's hesitation, this individual pulled out a gun, placed it against Chet's chest, and said, Fallish de Grey sends his regards and blasted a hole. And now we pick up where we currently are. As the gunshot rings out inside of the room, what should be the sound of a deafening ring from the bullet instantly turns to silence, as none of you can hear or speak. Everyone tries to gasp as sound that normally <gasps> would escape their mouth is silent. Chet, you would know what this is. Immediately from hearing the gun blast, as you fall down, being this close to the individual, you see he has touched an emblem on his chest. That is the, the, the symbol for the silent spell. And he has activated an area of silence around everyone. So there is now an, a bulb of silence. So for the technical aspects of the silent spell, I will let you know what it is. In layman's terms, if a spell would have a verbal component, which 98% of spells do, they are now useless. It is a 20-foot radius sphere centered on the point 
of the, of the person. So for 20 feet around him in all directions, which is the majority of this this part, like this room, it is silent. There, there is no sound at all. And I had them roll initiative to begin with. So let's get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> Acting as fast as he always does, always ready and always alert for combat. Soren Thunderfist, you are up first. Well, let's start off this the right way with the rage. <laughs> what normally is the sound of a crackling bolt of lightning that extends from Soren's body is just a now an instantaneous flash of blue as his tattoos and markings glow with the lightning spirit, but no sound. It's like watching the gif of a Hulk. <laughs> oh, also the um, silence spell makes all thunder damage. Doesn't happen. If a spell does thunder, if something does thunder damage, it doesn't activate. All right. Uh, how far are they from me? Uh, they are about like seven feet, so you could just walk over and you'll be right on the guy oh, who just so shot you. I'm right there. Okay. <laughs> so I can turn around. You just have I to move just... slightly. Yeah. <laughs> well, then we're going to go ahead and just, uh, Hit him. out of just pure instinct, hit the dude with a hammer. <laughs> Got it. So yeah, it'll be like the second he hear, uh, like he heard the brief gunshot, turn and see Chet's falling. The hammer all instinctively comes up after the rage and swings at random stranger of a seventeen plus nine. That'll hit. I would hope so. If it didn't, you guys would be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. And that's a seven plus five for a. That's a uh, twelve. Sorry, math. Bump. Plus, plus. I'm raging, so that's one of the plus three. So that's fifteen for the okay. first hit. Okay. Okay. Roll again. Yep. That one eleven plus nine for nineteen. Yep. Or eleven plus nine is not natural. It's a dirty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had someone who could control graphics so we could just have like dirty 20 like spin up on the screen and then spin back. Dirty 20! <laughs> Sam, are you looking at what you can do? Yeah, which is like fucking nothing! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as. No, it's, okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. I, <laughs> plan. It's, I, have, I have three things that I can do. You do technically. And only one of them is worthwhile. I mean, technically, it's 14 points. Bleed. So, what'd you get for the damage? That would be 14 for the second hit. Okay. After that is uh, Mr. Chester Chet Boone Hartley. So, Chet, after as you realizing this silence, <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to give him my best shit eating grin and use hypnotic gaze, which I don't need to say anything for. Okay. And he needs to make a wisdom save or he's fucking paralyzed. <laughs> well, incapacitated. And he has no speed. Wisdom of what? 17. Natural 20. That's the only thing. Oh, fucker. That's the only useful thing I have. If I could pick up the camera and show it, it's right there. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to use, I'm assuming, how much of my movement to get up? Half. Okay, and then the other half of that, I'm going to be backing away. So 15 feet. He'll get an attack of opportunity on you. Mm. Mm. Uh, bonus, never mind then. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to make a... Can I make a strike with my dagger? Yeah. Okay. And guess where I'm going to be aiming for? it? That sigil? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to make... You're doing a, a targeted attack. Yeah. So, so we disadvantage? Yep. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage. Hey, guess what? Neither are below 20. Okay. That'll hit. Now, will you be able to destroy or damage it to disrupt the spell? I don't know. Let's find out. 
Because you're oh, nine. Nine points. Okay. Yes. As your knife strikes it, you hear and you, you you get the sense of your ears pop and they flicker as you can hear sound as it... And then, whomp, Karn's back on. Also, Chet... Uh, well, actually, Sorn, with your passive. Chet, you don't have a, too good a passive, but... Thorn is better. You see that this man is not alone as you see four f four individuals all pull out different swords and then one dragonborn that was standing in the corner turn around as he brandishes um, his long sword in one hand. Or in two hands, sorry. So you now have six people you're fighting. So I assume the rest of the group is looking at us currently, right? Oh, yeah, people are running in fear as all the wizards are like, silence. <laughs> are well, no, I mean, like the rest of uh, the you know, like Hemnes and Morana. Oh, yeah. Everyone's looking, and, and after Chet's turn, it is Hemnes. I would say, is there a way like, we could like gesture to them? To be like, hey, there's people. On hey, your hey. turn, you can, but unfortunately. It's not your turn. It's not your turn. Yeah. So you just struck Chet, stab. So Hemnes, uh, you are. Looking at Chet and Sorn and the, the mysterious person fighting. Um. Chet, you look like you could use a massage. <laughs> Chet can use a drink right now. Right. Well, see, I want to do some healing, but I also kind of want to bap. Ah, choices. We'll see how Chet was shot in the chest. Hey, he doesn't know Chet that well. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to uh, head over to Chet and uh, do Hands of Healing. So you're going to dump, what is it, 1d6 plus? Uh, 1d6 plus 5. Okay. So roll it up and spend the key point. <laughs> six. That's six no. more points. Six more points. That's a lot to a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, that was your... It's an action to do that, right? Yeah. So you do have a bonus action. Bonus action. Uh, how close am I you to... Are, if you're right next to Chet to do the Hands of Healing, you are right next to the individual. So since you're new to being a monk, you know, I can explain that you can do a Fury of Blows. I would like to do that. Which is extend another key point to do... Is it one or two more attacks? Fury of Blows. Oh, you have to take the attack action. Sorry, you can't do Fury of Blows. Okay. But you should just be able to do a bonus, action, right. a bonus action just unarmed strike. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just punch him. Hoof <laughs> <laughs> him. Hoof him with tiny goat hooves. Let me know what you get. That's a non-nat 20. That'll Woo! hit. So deal that 1d6 plus. <laughs> hit it. Uh, Caleb. It's an 8. 8 total, okay. Caleb Dude. Harder. Uh, that's your turn, correct? Yeah. All right. So now it's the four thugs' turn. As they all, you see, two of the thugs are busy, uh, you know, throwing people out and removing people. Um, one of the thugs has come up behind Devin and placed a, like his sword right against Devin's throat, and so Devin's like, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, not moving, because he knows he's. He's not an idiot. <laughs> so that will leave only one thug that's able to enter up and is going to come up to Hemnes and attack Hemnes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so he is going to attack you um, twice with his mace. And he's not technically flanking because of your positioning. So... He doesn't get advantage. He just gets two attacks. 
And you have an AC of 19, so... Good job, Monk. One hit, one miss. Let's... So you will take a whopping... Um, nine points. Oof. As he just... <laughs> on the back of your skull. My skull. <laughs> so after their turn, you see the dragonborn lock eyes with you, Sorn. And come on over. So there's now, six. There's four thugs. The dragonborn, yeah, there's six. Okay, gotcha. Um, the dragonborn is going to be flanking with you since he can. he's going to come around since you're facing the uh, dude with the gun. Okay. He's going to come around behind you and flank. Alright. So for everyone knows, Thorn is Thorn. Thorn is being uh, flanked. So the half red dragon is going to uh, make two long sword attacks. Uh, that's a hit and a barely miss. So, okay. Soren, you take a whopping six since you're raging. I already have that. All right. How did you? I was like, wait, no, he's raging. It's half. First thing I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is his turn. Next is Morena. Okay, um, the guy who shot Chet, yep. is he within 30 feet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone technically is pretty much at this point. Are any of my team, or any everyone's the right there? Is anyone in front of me? Like directly? Yes. Yeah, like, not if you move. If you're going to try and cast a spell, you need to make sure it's not verbal. It doesn't have a verbal component. Oh, crap. So, yeah, um, components, if it says V on any of the spells, that means it's verbal and silence is making that impossible. Yeah. You do have your sword, though. That's true. Yeah, the silence spell is kind of uh, Morena and Chet's, like, bane of existence. <laughs> Because I can see that I can do nothing. Yeah, uh, only okay. druids and like two cleric spells are nonverbal. There's well, and then there's counter spell. Yeah, but that's I mean, you need a spell to right. counter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Um, well, said you could... all right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my sword of the aberrant mind out. So, Hemnes, for the first time, because you haven't seen this sword ever, you see a ring on her finger, like, grow as it shoots out into a sword and forms into their, her hand. So she's holding a hilt in her hand, but it's growing out into a sword as she rushes towards the man who shot Chet. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Is that correct? You're heading, <laughs> you're heading towards the guy who shot Chet? Yes. Okay, so now he's being flanked. Avenger, this guy and everyone's like, screw it, let's all get him. <laughs> Gun that does 62 damage in one shoot or swords. I think I'll take my risk with the swords. Can get shot more than once without really being worried. <laughs> so you need to yeah, roll your attack with advantage against this individual. That's a 26. To hit, that'll hit. Okay. So they're fighting to keep Chet alive. Oh, no. <laughs> Chet bone. Chet bone. Chet bone. That's a 10. 10 damage? All right. And that's your turn, because I'm pretty sure all your bonus actions require... Yeah, it's... You can do invasive thoughts. Technically, that works. It's not speaking, so you could talk to people with that. Not really. Yeah. 
Fuck. You're like, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> Stay alive. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So that's Miranda's turn. At the bottom of the initiative order, with a plus six to his initiative, he rolled a natural one and became the last of initiative. You got real lucky. Uh, he is going to point down at, at Chet. Chet's and, stand. Yeah, was say, oh, Chet, yeah. Chet forward, just have him make a wisdom save. Instinctive charm. He fails. Okay, so this is the wording on it. Uh, on a failure, the attacker must target the creature that is closest to it, not including you or itself, which I'm assuming would either be Morena or Sorn. It's probably going to try and shoot Sorn. <laughs> Fair enough. He's the biggest dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorn. Sacrificial <laughs> lamb of my life. <laughs> Sure, he's just going to try and piss off the Goliath some more. <laughs> Let's piss off the big guy. <laughs> okay, so it's going to unload. He's going to and unload the two shots into your chest. So, yeah, you see a 16, right? Mm-hmm. Are the shots magical? Yes. Mm. Both hit. <laughs> Did you say sorry? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was either that or die. <laughs> yeah, this hand cannon ain't playing no games. <laughs> okay. So in total, Mr. Sorn, you will take 28 points of damage. <laughs> oh, wait. You're also, he gets on it. You gotta add that sneak attack. Hold on. Rogues, man. Because, you, yeah, you're right next to his ally. Oh, well, that's lucky. I was gonna say, I'm gonna use stones endurance. <laughs> uh, that'll be uh, 15 more from the sneak attack. All right. Well, as a reaction, I'm gonna use stones endurance to do a 1d book plus five reduction. Okay. Which is 16. So you'll only take 27 points then. Okay, I've already did. So heal yourself one. Um, and then you can no longer take reactions this turn. I only have that as a reaction. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's now your turn again, so you can have reactions again. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> so I imagine Soros is going to look at the, the fact that he shot him in the chest, kind of like buff his chest out, and, you know, in silence, kind of just like roar at him. And I'm really tempted to try and hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> just, you little man. <laughs> Meet Dragon Board. But, uh,. You do get advantage because Nancy is there now. That's true. So I'm going to try and bap him again. It's a whole he train. He's, he's the main problem. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Natural 20! Which also means brutal critical, right? Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If by chance you don't knock him out... He does succeed on the save if you're going to target him with that. <laughs> if I target him with that, but if I have the yes. guy up front, yes, yeah, so I'm just letting. If you target, if you're trying to take out the one dude, I'm just gonna roll ahead. Yeah. Uh, brutal crackle. Okay, so you get an I additional die. Three d8s. Yep. Plus your strength, plus your rage. Yes. Yeah. So three d8 plus five. Uh, plus, so it would be 3d8 plus 8. 8, 7, 5. Math. 20. be 28 total from that hit. All right. 
Uh, yeah, how do you want to do it? <laughs> like I said, so I think Sorn will kind of, like, will look at his chest after, like, kind of, like, reinforcing it and just, like, do uh, the, the silent roar and all the silence and just rear back with that hammer and just, and just crack him right across the face. And I imagine that would snap his neck. Yeah, he did. Silence does not fall, though. Good to know. Alrighty. Uh, so then Sorn will turn around and go, Hello, Mr. Dragonborn. <laughs> now you do not get advantage on him. Right. I have only picked up one dice. That is another natural 20. Nice. Yeah, he's not lying. <laughs> Got it. A little damage. <laughs> Now, I know this guy hasn't taken too much, <laughs> or hasn't taken any, so... Uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not, like, clicking anything. I'm also going to pump a charge into it for another D6 worth of damage. Got it. Kill him! <laughs> Kick his ass! Five, seven, three, so... Another five. So that's ten. 15, 16, 17, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. Okay. Uh, he did make a save, so roll damage and we'll have it. Which is... I think it's 2d6 now. I don't know. We've been out of it for so long. What level are we? 10? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 2d6. I was fairly certain it was. So that's seven. So, okay. He is still up. I couldn't imagine he would. Chet, you're up. Do, do I need to do anything with my HP? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you need to take four. That's what I thought. I just wanted to ask. Trying to be fair. Uh, well, I guess now that, um... Which, Soren, as as you end your turn, you notice that there is a a boring feeling from the bullets. Okay. Um, can I use... I'm gonna use my movement, mm -hmm. I guess. Can, to, can I, like, just reach down and try to grab the amulet and then use an action to figure out how to... Yeah. You see it, you reach down, you see it, it's part of his, his out outfit. It's like a hidden thing that you can reveal and activate. Okay. So then you can use your, now make an arcana. Arcana? All right. Yep. 23. You know the only way to uh, turn it off is to remove it from the clothing. Well, then that's what I'm going to start doing. Okay, so that'll be your next, because that's your action to investigate, so... So, yeah, bonus action to, I guess, start cutting it off. Yeah, so just roll a yeah. uh, slide of hand and we'll start it. Slide of hand. Uh, that's a 17. Okay, so you're you're making good way. You're, like, cutting around. You're, you're not, it hasn't fully popped off yet, though. <laughs> since you're doing it as part of, like, half of a six-second thing. Right, right. Hemnies! <laughs> yeah. Um... How close am I still to Chet? You're right next to him still. Okay, I want to do uh, another key to Hands of Healing. Got it. <laughs> You're bleeding, guy. I need to help you. Please, stop right, bleeding. Please just let me help you. <laughs> That's seven. Points, yeah, okay. Yeah. You want another seven? And then, um, are any of the other bad guys near us? Like, how close? Uh, they're not on you. Yeah, they're still on the other one. One's on the other side. Uh, well, one's behind you, and the other one's on the other side of Sorn. So you can turn around and hit the guy who hit you with the mace. Yes, I would like to do unarmed strike on that one. Okay. Bat. Uh... What's your modifier? Oh, plus nine. Did you roll a two? I uh, rolled a nine. Okay, you hit him. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Noted. Anything above a two hits. If you have a plus nine. <laughs> well, I meant I was I meant directly. Oh, Sean. yeah. <laughs> so Sean, if you roll anything over a two, you hit this guy. <laughs> okay, I don't do the math, so I'm just like. Mm. That's fine. I count on my fingers half the time. I do too. All right, so that is. That's a nine. Okay. And then I'd also like to use a key for, um, since I hit with unarmed strike. You're going to try and like stunning? To, uh, hands of harm. Oh, I forgot you have the ability to adjust hands of. <laughs> so when you hit a key with unarmed strike, I can spend one key point to deal an extra 1d6 of necrotic damage. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And that's a three. Three more points? All right. He is... As you, you guys now see... You you, you talk to Hemnes about his, like, abilities and gifts using key for, like, the medicinal as also putting people out of their misery. And you have now all seen firsthand that he's able to impart his own key from his four life force into people, but also harness that key and draw, like, necrotic energy to his fists and implant it into people. Nice. Which, even though Chet's bleeding out, it's still blowing his mind. <laughs> so, like, you can't hear him, but like you can tell he's mouthing. Damn, Damn that's that. cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the thugs turn now. Um, one of the thugs has been wrestling with Devin to throw him out of his his um, chair. Give me your chair, old man. <laughs> <laughs> It's my chair, you douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to round this, just a thug wheeling himself around. I forgot about the job! <laughs> <laughs> but he does successfully throw Devin out of the chair and onto the ground. Damn. Um, that's his turn to, to pretty much immobilize Devin. Um, the calumny is screaming right now. <laughs> Devin! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, the, other th the other two thugs are going to come over and... They're gonna start. They're gonna. One's gonna occupy himself with um, Hemnes. The other one is gonna come over and try and stab at Chet. <laughs> Who? Hey, stab it now. Hey. Ooh. So first one, the two attacks on Hemnes. Uh, miss, miss. <laughs> uh, next one, attack on uh, Chet boy. Coming up from behind to try and whack you. That's rude. That's my no-no square. No. Uh, first attack misses. Second attack will hit. Okay. So you are going to take... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, eight. Oh, okay. It's better than what I thought. Well, he did just heal seven, so that helps as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does help. <laughs> he, he also missed one, so if he would have hit twice, it would have done six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the it. final thug is going to once again try and uh, double smack Hemnes to get get you out of the way, so we can try and kill Chet. Wait, what? There's there are four of them. One of them's occupied. One came up to try and hit Hemnes. One tried to hit Chet, and then the one who's already that. Um, Hemnes just oh, punched. Last time. Okay. Yeah, which he hits. He misses once, hits once. To do you. Ooh. <laughs> that 16 points of damage. What is, what, is your, what is your HP, by the way, Sean? Just for uh, damage. Right now? No, in total. Like, what's your max? 73. Oh, okay. Okay. He's doing fine, but I just maxed out my damage. Just... Yeah. <laughs> You know, right now I'm at stuff. Uh, the red, half red dragon now on his turn is going to look at how things are, and he's going to shift, so not moving out of your attack range, but he's going to place all of you plus two of his friends, though, within his fire breath. Deck saves. It's <laughs> advantage. <laughs> So if you have evasion or a ring of evasion, um, 
You should probably use it. <laughs> I thought it wasn't a spell. Uh, your ring of evasion is evasion's a not a spell. No, your uh, magical item still activates. So your your ring of evasion that oh, has can... its ability. So I can still use it. Yes. So yeah, your ring of so evasion. I... <laughs> yeah, so you need to roll uh, to, you... You need to see if you succeed. And if you fail, you can use it. You don't have to just outright use it. You can save it if you want. Or you can just use it. Yeah, I'm not your boss. It's a 19. Okay. Save here. I'm sorry. You cut out on, like, a bunch. You only have to so... use it if you fail. And then you succeed if you want. Right. So are we... Yeah, you're rolling a deck I save. What we're doing. Okay. I never heard that. <laughs> Dragon Boy going... What'd Dragon. you get, Goat? 24. Yeah, I, I would assume. You also <laughs> have you also have evasion, so you take nothing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Do I have evasion? Yeah, monks at level seven. Yeah, uh -huh. you have evasion. <laughs> you take nothing. <laughs> You're just like whoop 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 whoop. You're like no. The so uh, <laughs> what'd you get there? Seventeen. Okay, so you succeed, so you don't have to use your ring. So I'm gonna half the damage for all of you. Now is it is it? It's just fire damage, right? Yes. Does it count as non-magical? <laughs> no, it's fire damage. You're going to take the half. You're going to take the full damage. <laughs> half. Full yeah, so half. funny story. Between last session and this session, Chet got immunity to fire damage. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't believe that. One of his friends succeeded. The other one failed. Oh, good. So he's burning one of his friends. I'm assuming he's getting paid enough to not care. Yeah. <laughs> Um, from what Chet, I can say, from what Chet knows about Falister, uh, money's not really a problem. <laughs> I need another D6. I didn't have That's enough D6s in my tray. <laughs> can we just say Chet's dead? <laughs> no! <All right. laughs> well, I mean, at least you're only going to take half. So 13 around, except for you, Hemnes, you take none. All right, Chet's down. Chet's down? Yep. Boo, boo. I'm sorry, so said we take 13 damage? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which you just see Chet get engulfed by flames and then pass out. Yeah. Which on your turn will be... Um, a fail and you'll roll. Yeah, I figured. All right. Uh, that's his turn. <laughs> Morena, you're up. So the thing I was going to do can no longer be done. <laughs> um, how far is the closest? How, oh, They're within I'm like gonna... 10 feet. You could walk. Like you can get to everyone in combat you can get to. Depending on who you go for, I'll let you know if you're flanking them or not. Okay, the guy who shot Chad is still up? No, the guy yeah. who shot no, Chad got his neck okay. snapped. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'll attack the closest person with Sword of the Aberrant Mind. Okay, so that would be the um, one who just went, the one of the goons that just went after Chet. Okay. So, so that's A13. That'll hit. Okay. He's just a goon. I'm just a goon. And That's life a is a nightmare. You said 10 damage? 7. 7, okay. I already maxed up the last time. Do it 3 this time. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, that's Miranda's turn. Uh, the guy, dead guy, would you like to... Oh, wait, you're dead. <laughs> Mr. Thunderfist. All right, you no, are going to take uh, 4 damage as well. Okay. I'm sitting right next to Chet, though, right? Yep. Is it four damage? Yep. All right, so for my bonus action, I'm going to pour a potion of healing into Chet's face. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <can> buddy. <laughs> you forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> no, I was going to do that. Didn't know I could... Oh, yeah, you... Talk. You you pretty much you 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 put it in his mouth 
like a bottle, and then you just tilt his head and open his throat, and he just. <laughs> yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You heal nine points, Jeff. Yay! I help. You did help. I help. And then uh, Fireboy getting some. And then I'm gonna in. take four. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna oh, immediately yeah. just. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay, you just hate me, it's fine. Yeah. I mean this this combat is not really meant for the spellcasters of the show. No, it's, <laughs> it's almost right. as if they went into a school of spellcasters and thought about how are we right. gonna stop that? Like they, it's like they're not stupid <laughs> for once. Like... So fourteen plus nine to Bat Dragon Baby. Yep. Alrighty. Seven plus five is math. Twelve plus three is fifteen. Go ahead and do the next boopins. That's a twelve plus nine. And I'm going to pump my second charge to get rid of this stupid dragon asshole. Or keep getting him hard. That's only seven. Jeez, these days like seven. Uh, so that's fifteen plus four. Nineteen. Okay. He's not looking so good. That's both the charges. He's looking real bad. I'd imagine so. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Chet, take your four, and then your turn. Uh, so I'm going to just start doing what I was doing before. So you, you technically dropped your knife, so you're going to have to pick up the knife and then continue. Yes. So continue on. <laughs> Slide a hand that's cocked. Uh, okay, 23. Okay, it is almost off. So having to you know reorient yourself and pick it back up and be like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. This is good. It's, it's, if you do it again, it should pop off. Gotcha. Mr. Uh, Bit Bap Hemnes. Another key point, Hands of Healing. <laughs> Thank you. Stay alive! <laughs> I just met you. <laughs> Don't die. New friends, no! That's a 10. That more That'll points. Do it. And you're going to unarm strike the dude next to you again? Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. I mean, I do have games. I That's know. That's 20. Okay, so double that damage die. So Ooh. 2d6 plus uh, your modifier. In a few more levels, you'll be doing d8s. And then he he Kill him. Tell him his mama doesn't love him. <laughs> 14, okay. Break his heart. He's, he's looking pretty messed up. Also, you can't tell him anything. He can't hear anything. <laughs> tell him you love him, but in it, silence. But it 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 quit out. it. Okay. Go. So after Hemney's turn, it is going to be the thugs. As the thug who had knocked Devin over and moved his wheelchair out of the way to pretty much take Devin out of the fight is now, he's now entered the match. <laughs> and then Devin uh, punches him in the butt. Uh, he's going to run yeah, over. Devin get an opportunity attack. As he, moves out of his <laughs> he can punch him in the ankles, right? He can, totally, he can totally just hit him in the back of the calf and like hit that, like give him a charity. Charlie horse. <laughs> It's Devin. Fine. He'll deal four points of damage. Yay! Good job, Devin! Yay. As then this individual runs over and flanks up on Morena and proceeds to try and stab her in the back. How dare he. Not my love! <laughs> you just wait till I get this fucking thing off of here, buddy. So, with advantage, uh, that'll hit Morena once. And then hit Marina twice. Dang, she got good at me too. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, 21 points. Oof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, it's hilarious that the first hit that ever hit me just brought me straight up to a 69. Now I'm taking a 21. No. <laughs> Okay, so that was one thug. Another thug, um, the one who is uh, attempting to hit Hemnes again. Twice. First attack on Hemnes hits with a natural 19. Second attack. Uh, misses! Barely. As you take a whopping eight. <coughs> Okay. <laughs> Next uh, thug who is seeing Chet preoccupied trying to take care of the sigil just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Chet, you'd be like, I should probably not do this with my back against everyone again. Oh well. It's kind of useless without his spells, you know. <laughs> First attack will hit. Second attack will hit. Oh, you know, he gets to be a pin cushion. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> We do all this to bring you back from the death, and you're just like, screw it! Uh, 17 points. I'm down. <laughs> oh, no. I can only think of the Tom Ska rocket punch thing where the guy, like, the where magic becomes real during the, like, LARPing. And the guy's like, healing spell! Ah! <clears throat> healing spell! Ah! And he's, like, on the tree dying. <laughs> he keeps getting brought back to life and dying. Uh, okay, final thug is going to uh, continue to try and hit Hemnes. Just all these thugs are just coming over and just wailing. You guys are all like, keep Chad alive. Do, do, do. <laughs> keep Chad alive. Uh, that will hit Hemnes and miss, even with advantage. Uh, that is a whopping another eight. Just not 88. <laughs> I mean, if you want to knock yourself out, go for it. Knock yourself out. Get um, it. There's the door. Well, it was a great week, everybody. Let's go ahead and we'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs> we all lived. Yay. Uh, Dragonborn's turn. Yeah. Uh, first, let's see if he gets a recharge. He does not, which is thankful. <laughs> Just spews it again. Ah! Uh, he's going to take his two uh, attacks with a uh, longsword against good old Sornicorn. Go figure. <laughs> I mean, I would too if the giant Goliath is beating me up. Hit and hit. All right. And I'll half this for you. All right. Ten. Alright. Just. Marina! How far is Chad away from me? Right next to you. Oh. I would like to use this potion of healing. <laughs> but I would like to administer it through mouth. You're going to drink it and then kiss yes! it? Yes! Yes! Oh. So the kiss of life. She's so like, I'll like, save you. Pour it in his mouth. <laughs> I'm that saving works. his life. Don't it's tell me mean. how to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to get that way. Good luck, it Chad. It won't be. It's not by survivors. I'm silently just like... What's wrong if with Chad these guys? If Chad survives this, he's instantly going to marry this girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, roll the healing. Soren, get ready to take four more. And then Chet, get ready to also take four more. Yeah. Wait. No. <laughs> After healing. I'm just like, stop dying. As long as it's five or better. <laughs> yeah, well, <good. laughs> So you're bonus actioning, get putting this potion in. Getting bonus action from the bonus action. Yeah. So that's seven points. Yay. Seven points of healing. That was your bonus action, so you can still stab someone with your action. Yeah. 
shit. Well, stop, <laughs> stop dying! <laughs> if anyone will be the one to kill you, it will be me. Here's your broken heart. The ultimate pleasure. I can't have you, no one can. That's not horrifying hey, Quinn, or anything. you can't have me, I don't understand. <laughs> no one can! Just a full-on slave, like, you saved me, but why? I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> what is yeah. this, Braun Strowman? No, a slave Teen Titans. I know. Teen Titans, go! So that was Braun Strowman's thing for a while, is they beat someone up, leave, and then come running back, and like, I'm not done with you! And then you throw you an ambulance at you. Just like, here's an ambulance! Rah! So what'd you get? Ah! 15. That'll hit. Chet's real proud right now. Which one are you? Are you going for? You're going for the one that's attacking Chet currently. Yes. Okay. Wrong dice. <laughs> wow! It did twenty-five points of damage. Marina has a, uh, has a couple levels in barbarian. <laughs> that's an eight. Okay. He's looking not too good, but he's not looking terrible. Um. All right, super dead man. Okay, that's your turn. Uh, Soren, take the four, and now it's your turn. All right, I lost my D four, but that's fine. You don't use. I don't need that D4. right now. Don't, what do you want? All right. <laughs> right. Guess who's getting a bit bapping? I'm gonna guess the the, the dragonborn. Yes. <laughs> Natural twenty with a different dice this time. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how do you want to do it? Yes. You had like three. <laughs> uh, I want hit, I want just like I like, so this is like right after he did it he did his thing. I wanna just snap off his bottom jaw. A, Sweet Jesus. Sword's not in a good mood now right now, guys. <laughs> really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> It's when your players start getting more graphic in their descriptions of murder. That's when you know. That's when you know you hey, push them too now, far. Now, in my defense, right now, Soren's been dealing with a lot of loss of the group. So with Chet getting shot, like, dead, rather dead. He's, he's just slowly like, stop killing my friends! Okay, that's your first attack. Uh, there is no one directly next to you to uh, stab. Anybody within 40 feet for me to hit? <laughs> yes. Okay. I sure uh, the one next to Chet. I'm going to hit the, the one that's one hitting next... the one that Miranda just hit. Yes. Got it. Are you gonna flank? Am I able to flank? We have 40 feet. Yeah. Oh no. It, with the positioning, everyone, which was the question, uh, it was more of my concern. No, you cannot flank. You can get next to, but you can't flank because on the other next to him is one of his friends. Okay. I mean. I have the mental map. It's, it's hard to... I, I figured you did, which is why I was I didn't... Uh, that is 13 plus 9. Yeah, I'll hit. Right. How do you want to do it? Haha, you wish. <laughs> 8 plus... 5 is 13 plus 3 is 16. He's still alive. Alright, and now he's going to make a deck save. He does not make it. How do you want to do it? <laughs> Which granted. So I get. I mean, I guess it'll, so. The, I'll hit him. He's like, ha ha. It's just like kind of just point the hammer at him and we'll like <laughs> channel the aura through it. It's like <laughs> it's like every single comedy thing ever, where it's just like ha ha, and then the guy just like <laughs> off into the distance. <laughs> yeah. Except for he just like collapses. So make sure you put those um, three onto your total. Oh, yeah. Three now. Yeah. I'd mark the uh, the main guys. Yeah, then you mark the. Yeah, you got you just got two more. That makes it eleven. You're almost there. How many? You're almost there. Uh, it's ten. You're almost <laughs> ten there. Is... To have enough in the chamber for more stuff. <laughs> now you're just accruing more. For now, you can do it again and then again. Oh. Uh, true. Hemnes. Yes. I thought it was me. Oh, yeah. that's right. Sorry. You. I forgot you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda's kiss of life. Take your I four. Take my four. Yeah. Take my four. As it's still my... boring in you. 
gonna use my bonus action to try to finish getting this fucking thing off there. It's your action to pick up the dagger again. It's my action to pick up the dagger? Are you kidding me? It's, it's right there! It's technically an action to, like, it's either a bonus action or an action to now equip a weapon. Now, if Jet dies, wouldn't he have, like, a death grip on his dagger? <laughs> Just, <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't matter because that's a natural 20 on that. Okay, subject. so you still got it, yes. It's the same rules as e drawing a weapon. You're down there on the ground, so it would be if you drew your weapon. But you it's do like pop it's it right off. here. Chet just goes, whoop. Look, mechanics, man. <laughs> it's why fighters can't just, like, roulette wheel through their stuff. <laughs> okay, so you do pop it off, and the silence does drop. So that's good. Bonus, bonus action to kick your ass. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't do that. You're damn lucky we're social distancing right, right? now. <laughs> would take me more than six seconds to get to your house. <laughs> Uh, so now it's Hemnes. As you can hear the sound come back into the room. Map. Map. <laughs> Another key point. Thank you. Oh my god, are you like, <laughs> how are you not out of key point? Because <laughs> I have ten. That's true. You do have to, you are level 10. I'm used to my guy who does have any. Like, it's like oh, barely any. <laughs> That's like I find it humorous seeing how he plays a centaur in the other campaign, so he hoofs people, and now he's a he's a satyr with hooves, and that's why I'm like, hoof him, hoof him good, because <laughs> he got hooves. Still. True. Technically, though, I'd ram, which is kind of the same thing, except just full on, just like, huh. Could ram go. as well. Um, give me that sweet, sweet healing. Not so I can, work. so I can go down. <laughs> <laughs> As the rest of the group just... That's an 11. Yay! Wow, that's a good one. Makes my heart happy. All right. Uh, bonus action, you're going to punch the dude you've been punching? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> that's 25. That'll hit. No, it doesn't does hit this time. With an AC of 30. <laughs> Welcome to the good. tank. <laughs> it's his nickname, the tank. He's secretly a child dragon. Uh, that's a 10. Yeah, how do you want to do it? <laughs> hey! I just want to fall on just like, uh, uh, and just deck him. And just, yep. Okay. So that's your turn. Now there's only... Two thugs Three. left. We can take them. And they're both going to um, go to Chet, <laughs> who's next to him. He's one's already attacking. You're just gonna. <laughs> just... Uh, you can pick. You can pick which one needs to make a wisdom save. Okay. Instinct of charm. Uh, he succeeds. Okay. So. Four attacks incoming. Not an advantage, though, because they are not flanking, because your friends are at the other points. Yeah, I'd like to use uncanny dodge. Uh, bad news there, bucko. <laughs> you be a wizard. You can't. <laughs> that should be a feat. Like, uncanny dodge and evasion should be, like, a feat. Yeah, then everyone... Oh, no one else down. would take any other feat. <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, I think it would have to make sense for your character. So, hit miss on one. Okay. And then natural 20 hit. Okay, how do, I'm just going to go on ahead and say that they probably will take... I have 14. 14, okay. So we need to roll this in order. It's going to be hit, right. natural 20, and then hit. So I don't okay. want to do it so the natural 20 crits, and then on a crit, it is a coup de grace, which means two deaths. That's I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. want to try and Kill me. break Kill the me. system. Yeah. Fair. So you have 14? Yep. That's nine on the first. So the okay. crit will take you down. Yes, the crit will take you down, so then you'll take one. One death save. All right. Yeah, right now. <laughs> As you just see Chet like, ha ha, I did it! And then... <laughs> just two people just... As they're just like, just stay dead already! 
Come back, stop! We don't get paid if you're alive. Uh, we'll get paid if you're dead. Ah! Oh, thug. Okay, you're dead. Thug, you're dead. Okay, Bragg. Okay, uh, Morena. <laughs> Oh, it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and guess what? Silence is gone. Yeah. <laughs> As what what clicks to Morena that the silence is gone after fixating so much and trying to keep Chet alive? When you hear the two goons say, "Just stay dead, or we can't get paid," it clicks that you can hear things now, which means you can cast spells. <laughs> Shame I could put you know the first one I wanted to cast for straight right. Uh, <laughs> what was that one called? The one where I can split it to magic missile? Oh. Oh, yeah. the uh, twin spell. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to twin t one oh, single target yeah. spell? Hit both? Well, it says you create three glowing dark, uh, darts oh, of magic missiles. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can twin magic missile. You cannot missile. twin magic missile, but you no. can just shoot magic missile at them and guarantee hits. Right. You can quicken. But I can direct. Yeah. I have that? Do you have you quicken? quicken? Yeah. <laughs> Girl, yes! So you can quick, you can magic missile one, quicken magic missile the other, and just shoot them both with all the darts. I was looking at the wrong page the whole time. So yeah, you can do, you can spend okay. two of your sorcery points to spend uh, whatever level of magic missile you want to do as a quickened. So you could theoretically uh, do two fifth level magic missiles and just shoot them one and like. And those are goons. Yeah. You would be so doing. Yeah. Uh, they might not be alive. <laughs> you'd be doing. Um, what is it? Three, four, five, six. You'd be doing seven D four plus seven total. <laughs> God, because it's three darts plus four because it's fifth level. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> just Morena. Yeah. I mean, I don't see why I shouldn't. <laughs> I, it, you're pretty. You guys know in like Gundam, whenever like all the missiles come out, they're just like. Yes. That's pretty much what Morena is about to do. Just. <laughs> <laughs> to be it's somewhat to topical, it, yeah. to, to quote Grant Imahara, Grant Imahara, what? <gasps> <laughs> Pretty much. So, um, uh, roll seven d four. I don't need a roll to hit. No, magic no. missile auto hits. Magic automatically hits. Unless they're spell casters, which they're not. <laughs> they're thugs. What? They're not. Oh my god. Yeah, they, they oddly can't cast shield. So yeah, you're gonna roll seventy four and then add seven to that total. And we're then you can if you want you can do both for that or if you want to roll two separate sets you can. Twenty nine. Okay, the first the one's dead. So you kill the first one if you'd like to roll again or you can keep the twenty nine. It's up to you. But if you roll, you can't do the 29. Yeah, I'm going to keep the 29. Okay. Just for the sake of quick moving through this. He's not dead, though. Dead he dead. just is a pin cushion. <laughs> as you just see and hear Morena just scream out as just 14 different magic missiles all shoot out and just impale the dude all of them expl popping and exploding as they dissipate and he just has holes in him as <laughs> the other one is bleeding out at this point he's just like <laughs> I, am i gonna get paid <laughs> so you're up hmm hello little guy he's the last one right yep Nah, one hit, Chet. Nah, one hit, Chet. Chet might die down. next round anyway. Chet is yeah. down. So before I leave, we're going to pop another potion in his mouth real quick. Oh, thank God. You have no idea. Because I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, I'm automatically going to take one fail. Yeah. No, so put uh, me a two. I'm keeping my eye on that. <laughs> How many potions of healing do you have? I 
at three. I okay. now will be down to I, one. I use. I was the one who's been using all the potions of healing. I used okay. all mine. I was like, I'm pretty sure change. one of you is out. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, the one that just got shot is out. <laughs> healing potion. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have used them. <laughs> Alright, seven plus two. So nine. nine. Yay. Lose four. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty much instantly. You're alive. Okay, so I need to lose four as well because it's the beginning yep. of my turn. I will keep myself honest. And uh I will <laughs> stroll up to mid little old like bleeding out guy. <laughs> okay, hold it heck. That is 19 plus 9. Nope. That'll hit. That'll hit. That'll hit. How you want to do it? I think at this point, it's just a good old whack-a-mole moment. Just... Just... <laughs> and there's another one. Ow, down for the count. Oh, I thought you said there was another thug that I'm, I'm forgetting about. I'm like, what? No, I'm saying it's another one down for the count. You killed him. Yes, you did. I'm just going ahead and take that four. Well, should I really just, or should he just pass out? Because I imagine after 12 seconds. Oh, yeah. Chet pass out. Yeah, so and be combat's dead. technically over. So you, you're you just like, <clears throat> and then just. Would, would it, 12 seconds would be enough for me to probably say, someone get this fucking thing out of me. Yeah, right? same thing for Soren. You guys will both be like... <laughs> like this, am I having a heart attack? <laughs> is this what a heart attack is? So it chats down, and then what, so, every six seconds make a death save? Uh, Technically. So... Um, once he goes down, Soren's going to call out for a cleric? Seeing how we're in a big area and see if anyone else. Is. I don't know if I trust anyone else. You really called you. You were like, "Is there a cleric here?" And people are like, "This is a school for magic, not clerics. <laughs> we don't do religion." Doesn't mean it's not a cleric. Every school has a town nurse. <laughs> Where else do the wizards go to get to go to the thing? Um, um, they just die. So I was going to say, you let me know when I need to make them. I'll let you know. So, you uh, technically, you have 12 seconds, so I'm going to let you guys, Soren. No, I'll be like, Hemnes, is this something you're comfortable with? Do this thing. Okay, so now you're unconscious. And so, Hemnes, you have three tries to remove the bullet. Okay. It's your medicine. So, roll me a medicine check. Medicine check. Can I just say that Marina had gone kneeled next to Chet and kind of cradled him? She was holding him right now? Yeah. That's adorable. Uh, that's an 18. Okay, with the medicine? Yeah. Okay, so you get a good sense of how you're going to take this out. Uh, you just need to now take it out. You've lowered the DC quite a bit. Um, <laughs> if you want, you can... Do another medicine check to get a better understanding. That will mean one fail for Chet, and you'll be the DC will lower again, or you can try again. And depending on how well you do, it may cause a failure for Chet. Uh. So I'm gonna take another four. Just in total, I'm gonna say you're gonna take a total of twenty from this. So just take twenty. Just take twenty. Got it. Yeah, just in that we're just gonna call it there. I don't have to. So I don't have to keep telling you. I found the way to get rid of Soren Thunderfist. Just deal a constant four magic damage to him. Because <laughs> what Just this is like the, himself. Screw this. This is like the <laughs> lowest you've been in a long while, <laughs> and you would have been down another sixteen if you didn't do that. Stone's endurance. Yeah. This is probably a no, but is there any way to like extend another key point to heal him and then try again, or no? Uh, if you're gonna, you can attempt to do it. He's just probably going. He's gonna fall unconscious by the time you get resituated to pull it back out. That's fair. Um, well, it keeps him trying to make a death save. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a death. I mean, would it even? Would it, what's the point of making death? I'm saves? not gonna have you do death saves right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess I'll just roll with medicine then. 
you said? If you if you want to go for it, you can do a sleight of hand to try and take it out. Uh, if you want to lower the DC so you have a better chance with sleight of hand, you roll another medicine. Let's see. My sleight of hand's only a plus four, so I guess I'll do one more medicine. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. That's in that one. So you do not gain any more insight on you. You you believe that you have your best chance at getting it. Um, so Chet, that'll be one failure. Okay. Uh, now is your chance to roll on hand. All right. You wow. Oh, that's not one. Odds are evens. Even. I don't want to look at you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take a n one death save. You Locked have out. one more chance. Luck the fuck. Okay, out. wait. Now, so do, do we see that he that it went kind yes. of awry? All right, I got one more potion. We're going to put the potion in just to reset the clock. Please do. <laughs> okay. You've also, though, shit. you've made it harder on yourself to get the bullet. While trying to dislodge it, you have, you've moved it inside of his body. Right, six. So it's eight points. I'm just going to reset my saves. All right. Okay. Roll another sleight of hand. That's a nine. You are beginning to take it out, but it's not. It's because of where you've lodged it. After you, you the nat one where you, you kind of you you jumped and scared yourself. You're like, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta, and you spasm for a second. You begin. It's now back in the central like hole. <laughs> so now you can begin taking it out. So that's one fail. Roll again. I'm sorry, Sammy. <laughs> That's a 14. Okay. You're you're pulling. That's almost there. I need you to make that's one more fail. Do again. Anybody else got a health potion? <laughs> I believe in you. I don't even look. Oh. Um, 17. As Chet begins to draw his final breath, Hemnes, you pull the bullet out. It's a large bullet that appears to have a magical blade spinning constantly. As you pull it out, you nick your hand on it, so you will take two points as you drop it to the floor and it stops spinning. Chet is still unconscious, so I need you to... Make a death save? Make a death save. Because he's unconscious, and though, so the death saves still happen now. So He's already down here, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> 19. Hey! Okay, <laughs> healing so, Hemnes, you now have the ability to healing hands. Oh, God. Healing hands. Healing hands. <laughs> so, Chet, you wake up to um, Hemnes going like, clear! <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and roll that? Yep. Yes, please. Give me some help. That's an eight. Okay. Okay. So as you do that, and as I wake up, I'm literally going to, like, reach up, grab your face, and, like, kiss you on the forehead, and then let you go. And then I'm going to look up at Marena and be like, can I please have a kiss? <laughs> Plants one on him. Sword cuts it. Sword's <laughs> like, my turn. <laughs> okay. You're right. It is Sorn's turn. Yes. The bleed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as if you thought you were done there, uh, Hemnes, you got to now take one out of Sorn. All right. No, it's fine. I'll just stand here and bleed. Can I get him help? Can I give him help on the medicine check? Uh, yeah. You can give him advantage. Yeah. So take advantage on that medicine yeah, check. Yeah, but you're still occupied. Honey. Now you're kissing. <laughs> well... Okay, that's fair. But now, <laughs> well, I imagine like Chet would have that moment where he's like halfway through the game, like, wait, 
Sword just got shot too. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it's Chet. He would have that kind of moment. I imagine. Sorry. Sorry. It's like a twine. Sixteen. <laughs> 16, so you get a decent grasp. You don't have an amazing grasp bump. Like, you can see it's still boring in. Um, Did you do that with advantage because Chet was helping you? Oh, no. That one was better. So 16? So, yeah, you get a good grasp. You see it's still moving and boring in. But... You can uh, attempt to slide a hand, and it's going to cause him damage to take it out, but... Are you comfortable with that, friend? I mean, so I want to take it out. This is probably going to hurt. I don't see no school nurse. School nurse is not meant for this. <laughs> That's a not nat 20. Oh, hey. yeah. The, you know, when it's the alive guy that you have more time with, you just like... Hit. Where's the paint? Little left, your left, down. Uh, so no, Soren, sorry, you'll take um, four more from the extracting. Uh, one more roll, and it should pop out. So, roll again. With medicine or with side hand? Side hand. Side hand. Sixteen. Oh yeah. You take four more Zorn as it just pops out of you. And uh, the two bullets are now on the ground. <laughs> as Devin goes, <clears throat> um, little help. And Zorn will go over and be like, all right, I'm going to touch you now. <laughs> He's going to look up and be like, just do it already. I'm looking for consent. <laughs> He'll pick up Devin and put him back in his chair. You see one of the wheels is kind of like bent. Uh, is it? Uh, is it like a metal kind of thing? Yes, but it's bent so in weird. a way that I don't think you'll be able to pound out. Well, I have blacksmithing tools. So I could probably tinker with it. <laughs> You're going to take like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. If, if Devin would like to roll in his chair rather than me carry him. That's up to you guys. If you guys want to spend 30 <laughs> minutes. Devin. <laughs> Devin, do you want me to carry you or try to fix your chair? <laughs> well, I mean, don't we need to take you guys to see the cleric? I mean, yes, but you got to get there one way or another, don't you? Can you carry me? I'm just making sure you're comfortable with that. I'm more concerned with you not bleeding out. Uh, that happens. <laughs> no, that's not a normal thing. <laughs> I didn't say, well, I mean, in our normal life a little bit. But... Can you just carry him? I would very much like to see the cleric. Mm, yes. Oh, I need to see the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are, uh, what are you guys doing? Carry Devin as we try, and it has the, I'll have him direct us to the best location to go to. As far as <laughs> if there's point, like an ER or at this point, or, armed guards have appeared and they're going like, "All right, where's the thugs? Where are the where are the assailants?" Well, just like <laughs> point at the dead bodies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, it took so long. Uh, people were very unspecific on where this was being held. They just said there were assailants in that direction, and we had to comb the, the school. Fair enough. I'm glad you're alive. Um, we're going to go handle the bodies now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Where can we find you so we can get a follow-up report? Uh, I mean, we're staying at the steam vent. Devin's going to pipe up. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> You just had an assassinate. He's going to be like right in your ear. He's like, you just had an assassination attempt. You really don't need to let you sleep in some inn? It's the worst lock, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to, he's just with his gauntlet, he's just going to tongue on the side of your head. 
Hey, I'm bleeding. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. Leave me alone. Now you're bleeding. <laughs> no, I've always been bleeding. <laughs> oh, I, you got a real bleeding heart right now. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. I mean, a little left to the left. And I Shut up. <laughs> Just walk. <laughs> As you guys take the time to walk across campus, people are coming up and checking, like, are you guys all right? Are you all right? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> drip, drip. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. As soon as we're, like, leaving campus, Chet's just going to sort of mumble, like, useless wizards. <laughs> <laughs> They're all students. <laughs> useless wizards! <laughs> so you make your way um, to the like local one of the nearby hospitals like the small um kind of like urgent care this is what the wizards who severely injure themselves go to when they can be <laughs> taken there <laughs> um as you go in you see there are it is a staff by gnomes as um two older gnomes look at you and go oh dearie oh my what happened to you? I got shot. What? Yeah. Guy, gun, chest, boom. Shot gun? in the chest. What is a gun? Anyway, just c come in, come in. <laughs> Another. <Small> fire. <laughs> two, uh, two more come out and uh, lay Chet down onto a uh, strike, a uh, rolling bed. Um, we're gonna have to put two together for you. <laughs> I mean, do you just need me to walk somewhere? I'd hate to. It, room two. Okay, I'll walk. Um, um <laughs> Devin, I'll put you in a chair over here, <laughs> and I'll go wait in room two. <laughs> um, Mister Sater, if you could kindly go to room um room room one, um, and and Madam Elf, are you okay? Do you need assistance? I'd like to stay with this one. All right. Um, they all take you to individual rooms, and um, in order of who approaches, first, that goes to Hemnes, appears to be a younger gnome who is carry has a stethoscope, who's wearing brand new um, doctor clothes, like has the whole shebang. He's like, all right, my first patient since graduating medical school. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's JD. So, how can I help you? Uh, got clobbered a little bit. Well, all right. Um, let me just get you uh, something to drink to numb that pain, and then I'll get right to work. You see him come back in with a rolling cart filled with plants and, and, and various liquids and a mortar and pestle so he can break down things and... You see, I'm just in some of this. Little dad just lights up the flame, starts cooking something. And then, drink that, please. Down the hatch. Walk. Your entire body gets a, a a sense of warmth and like comforting numbness as he lays you down and begins to do a mixture of um, healing salves and sutures to heal you, and you will gain. Fifteen points. Nice. You're just talking you're like, gosh, my first patient ever, and it's going so well. After so long, he's just so focused on talking, rubbing it, he accidentally sticks a finger like into one of the cuts. So like, oh, oh goodness, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, and packs it real quick and rubs it on. He just continues talking. He's kind of like uh, what you do with your uh, with your talking about pressure points and muscles. He's just talking about the body. I'm just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we'll go to uh, Sorn. At this point, an older gnome comes in. He's got he's got a, a massive scar over one of his eyes. <laughs> All right, what's wrong? Just point to the chest, the hole in my chest is bleeding. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the. You're gonna need a lot of gauze. <laughs> He just he just walks and starts like pulling out gauze and things, <laughs> and, uh, dips it in some liquids. Just uh, 
him, wraps it into like a, a, a tube. He measures the, like, he just goes like, wraps it into a tube. This is going to dissolve in a few days, but you can't move it. Noted. Hey, what's that over there? Pop! <laughs> and just like, shoves it in there. You felt pain. I mean, you've been stabbed. You've been, but <laughs> this is, it's kind of like, um, you know, cleansing the wound and Neosporin and all that. So it's kind of like, just in your entire inside is just like, <laughs> as it's just, it's just like a, on the inside of your chest. So it's like, all right, it takes out a bandage, just slaps it on your front. I guess I should suture the other wounds. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Sword's a very good patient. He just sits there and does what he needs to do. Um, you will heal 21. How could that be? And if it, in about a two days, the, that bandage on the inside will, will have uh, replaced your uh, your normal organs. You guys got, like, coverage, right? Uh, Are you you'd insured? Have to ask... uh, you'd have to speak to the uh, the head of the guards out in the office about that kind of information. Mm. That's a no. All right. I mean, you can take that up with Sir Devin. I mean... He will he'll walk away. You know, as you say, Sir Devin, <laughs> he's like, Sure, smur, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, who goes into your room are the two um, older um, gnomes. One of them is working on you, Morena. Um, you, you, they're going to pretty much not do as much as they do with Hamnes, but they're going to, you know, bandage you up and, oh my, are you okay? Like, oh, that's a really bad head to head wound. And they'll, like, take care of you, Morena, and then they're going to look at you and she's going to be like, Whoever did this really did a number on you. I have to imagine you knocked on death's door like four times today. I, I kind of lost count. Four, five, seven, I don't remember. Oh my, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, Let me just measure the wound real quick and she's going to pull out the same thing uh, and be like, isn't she gorgeous? And is going to point to Morena real quick so you can... She's the most beautiful damn Oh god, son of a... <laughs> Sorry, it's, oh, just, it's, it's just a lot better when they can't see that. Um, let me just continue to suture and just, you're going to be fine. Um, just drink this. And you all are given the uh, same, like, comforting, warmth, numbing potion. Except for Soren. <laughs> I needed, I couldn't give you that first because I needed to make sure that it, you, you felt it. So it went into the full place. Does your chest feel full? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. This will take. This will start kicking in. Um, I imagine Chet is like holding Miranda's hand, like and just like. <laughs> and Miranda's like. He can't we, squeeze that hard. <laughs> we. He needs to lift more weights. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you have to roll for damage. <laughs> no. Uh, we call this Delala juice. It makes you. It makes it all like. It can make you very happy. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> you just hear Chet and Morena, I mean, yeah, just, just laughing it up. What is, what's so funny? Is it the name? The world. <laughs> Delala Juice? Yep, yep, that's about right. <laughs> We're going to have to um, keep you here overnight for observation. At this point, Devin's in the hallway. No, you're not. <laughs> They're coming back to the castle. The old, you just saw and you hear the old man going, Oh, it's on the, the king's dime, I guess. Well, in that case. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go back and see Get what else I can do. Get a CAT scan and an EKG. <laughs> Run every test known to we man. We need to make sure there's no... He's like, stop with the cat scan. No head damage. There's no, we need to make sure there's no magical residue 
uh, hurting you. So I'm going to need you to uh, pee in this jar and spit in this. And I'm going to need some blood. And he just, he just, he's the only one that does this. But for the next 45 minutes, Sorn has pretty much every bodily fluid taken from him. <laughs> and Sorn is well behaved. Like, oh, okay, sure. Except for one, because he doesn't need that. That's gross. Um, I need to see I how you're going to see him Screw up this bucket. All the way. All the way. <laughs> this this episode took a weird turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. So, uh, after the hour of you guys spending time, you know, getting all the tests done for Sorn, um, he's going to walk out and he's going to go to Devin. He's going to be like, all right, where do I need to send this bill? Devin's like, I guess to Devin at the the, the capital and the, the castle. All right. It's good to know. Do you have insurance? Uh, I haven't officially signed the paperwork yet, so uh, <laughs> no. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, as you leave, you see him scrawling a bunch more zeros onto the paper. <laughs> All right, uh, you can give the, I guess, we'll send it in the mail. Devin's like, oh, God. As you begin your travel back to the uh, cap, or back to the steam vents to grab your stuff. <laughs> As you walk up, is there anything you guys want to talk about in the train? I can't think of anything. Did I, I heal any from this, by the way? Oh, yes. You and Miranda both healed. Thank you for reminding me. Otherwise, you I'll just perpetually sit at eight points for the rest of the game. Uh, you you heal fourteen. Morena heals ten. Yippee! Yippee! Question. Um, yeah. Did I hear? Because obviously, like, sometimes they'll, like, tell you, oh, you can't move for this amount of time. Did I hear anything with that? Oh, they heard that you, you need to take any... a day to rest <laughs> and not do too much strenuous activity. Yeah, for how long? For a day. <laughs> okay. You broke the <laughs> dam that Les said it. Now, Moretta needs it. I didn't do anything. All right, so you guys are on the train back. You guys all sorry. It's all sitting in this awkward silence the entire ride back. Just like all of you guys, are like. Uh, Someone's Chet, asleep on the train. Chet will ask. So what would y'all think of the speech? I'm just trying to break the silence. Up. Devin just busts up laughing, going like, "Oh, oh my god." Uh, so I say so what, 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 attacked? What? <laughs> you definitely earned the position at the school I still I think you're just a big nerd now but I mean it'll be worse uh, yeah I am a big nerd uh, by the way thanks for um, you know with the hospital and the the bill I'd uh, don't, I, I don't thank like me I mean, nope. I can give you, like, a platinum, but that's, like, all. That ain't going to cover what they did. <laughs> so, so like, an IOU? I'll just I'll just pay you back for the rest of my life. It's fine. I probably no, won't live no, that long. No, it's long. fine. You're with the Stormbreakers. I owe them my life and everything. It's fine. I'll just need to really talk to uh, the, the bursar and explain the situation so he doesn't kill me. It's nothing new. Well, still, I I, pr I appreciate it. As I'm sure everybody else does. Too. Well, of course, yeah, no. Got to look out for my uh, my extended family, I guess. So, you guys ready to see the king soon? At this I'll, point, Sworn has dozed off again. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna let them know it's gonna be another day. So, like. Not tomorrow, but the day after, we'll just do a whole day with the king. He's, he like, do not call him Archie. 
Yeah, does he prefer his highness, his majesty, Ted. Archibald? I, let's King. go with king, or your highness, or your majesty, or Archibald. That would work. I don't know if he'd be okay with a first name basis just yet. I mean, you said Archie. I wasn't going to Well, I know, but I, I, I know how this group can be sometimes. They, like, try and, like, break the ice and, like say things about people's names and try and get buddy buddy with them uh he's real self-conscious about that nickname because that's what i call him <laughs> but i will not call him that in front of you guys i don't want to set that precedent and oh look we're, we're at the steam vents all right <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna guess i'm gonna tell them to hold this train then until you guys i don't want to get up and like <laughs> just you're gonna hold this train <laughs> Uh, as you guys disembark, you guys walk into the steam vents. They, they hello, welcome back. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you need help to get into your rooms? Um, I was just gonna say real quick as we're getting off the train, I would mention to the rest of the group not to tell anybody at the end that we were going to be staying at the castle. Just say that we're checking out. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Sarn will just be like, no, we're just uh, gathering our things and we'll be checking out. All right, all right. That's. Uh, I'm sorry to hear you go. Uh, I'll refund them extra money you paid in advance. Um, oh, dope. Give you back. We'll 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 call it six gold. All right. If you paid a bit for you were paid for a week. Um, yeah. So we'll give you back the money. Um, if you could just fill out these these pamphlets so we can know what we can do better or you know what how well we did um thank you for staying at the steam vents thank you and I um, grab your stuff <laughs> you grab your stuff in the hallway as you guys are leaving um you guys are heading down the uh, hallway as you hear a door open and then <laughs> behind you as you hear you're leaving so soon as you turn and chat you see it's agnesis uncle aggie oh oh gotcha got, i'm sorry <laughs> uh yeah unfortunately we are i just got here to town. Oh, I'm doing Devin's voice. I just got here to town. Yeah, yeah, I know. Where are you headed? Eh, you know. Not really sure. Well, mind if I accompany you? I mean, uh, I would love to catch up. It's, I know it's been a, a, a few weeks since I'd seen you, and I'd love to see what you're doing. I knew you were coming to the capital, so I wanted to surprise you and spend some time with my my relative. Can I also, actually take... what um... happened to you? As he is now, like, walk, tunk, 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 walked up to you and, like, why are you so injured? This is that Warforged, right? Yeah, yep. yeah, okay. no, it is. Well, I'm just reminding myself. Yeah. This is, this is Chet's uh, uncle. Right. Uh, it's kind of a long story. Look, can I, I would, I would love to spend more time with you, but can I take a rain check? I'm really not feeling all that great. Well, uh, hold on. He's going to cast, uh, cure wounds on you. Hey, Sean, can you do me a favor and tilt the camera down a little bit right now with the frame? I see like your nose up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, we'll wait for Twitch to catch up with us. Uh, that's better. Much so better. you are, yeah, you are, uh, you heal 30. Wow, thanks. Um, <laughs> it's better than the freaking hospital. <laughs> this is also magic. <laughs> magic. Um... So, and he'll wrap his, so I, let me walk you to wherever you're going then. I want to ensure that you're safe. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, um, 
when you looking at you guys are all injured. Did you get into a fight? Did you give him? He'll like noogie the side of your head, shit. Like, did you give him hell? Uh, not me, but uh, I'll point to Soren and everybody else. They <laughs> they did a pretty dang good job. Yeah, little clap, clap, clap. Good job. Thanks for making sure my 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 nephew didn't die. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> probably wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for them. Well, I am in- eternally grateful to um, the fact that you healed him and, and made sure he survived. As you guys are walking out and walk towards the train. So, um, I'm in town for a few days. I'm actually um, headed into the capital for, or the, the castle for a moment. I need to catch up with an old friend. We're meeting at the train station in the bottom um, to catch up, and we might go play at some bars tonight, so... Where where are you headed? Which train are you on? Uh, I'll point to our train. Uh, this one. Okay then. <laughs> um, after you, I won't want to to make. I want to make sure you get the best seat. He hasn't realized that it's being held, and only Devin's on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's more focused on looking at you guys and like talking to you. So after you guys have seated yourselves, Agnes is going to go sit down as Evan goes. Uh, who's this? The um, name is Agnesis. <coughs> Devin goes, that's an interesting name. And you're a Warforged. Looks over at Chet. How do you know these guys? Oh, I'm, uh... I'm related to Chet. Definitely gonna stop. Look at Chet. (laughs) And give that look of, like... Is this the guy? Chet will, like... Give a slight nod. Devin's gonna stop. How you doing? Name's Devin. I work up in the, uh, in the castle. At this point, the train's taken off. I work up in the castle. I actually, uh, I protect the king and, uh, my job. I met these guys back, uh, when they were in Humbleton. And he'll give, like, well, he'll explain, like, he knows Soren from Humbleton and met you guys all throughout the, you know, the adventures and because people left and you guys joined the group and everything. Um, as you see, Agnesis, it has, like, semi-expressions on the Warforge face. They've just gone to blankness as he turns to look at you. <laughs> I, uh, I see. Um, uh, <clears throat> and you currently work for the Royal Guard? Is that is that correct, Chet? Is he talking to De- he's talking about Devin? Oh, <sighs> yes. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stare him down at this point, like. Agnesis or Devin? Agnesis. He's gonna jump and dive through the window. <laughs> do i have enough of a reaction to hold person you technically can it's gonna be versus agnesis wisdom save and i'm gonna actually hold person both him and Devin. okay <laughs> so let me, let me oh, fuck <laughs> i hate this <laughs> so let me just uh bring so up wisdom. 17. Wisdom 17? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me their pages load. Okay, Agnesis. 
Roll a 12. So he's like, ha! And Devin rolled a 17. So attacker wins? Or no, what's his modifier? One. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so as soon as I get a hold of Agnesis... Devin's uh, not moving. Devin's like, he just um, sees him, just shrugs it off. He's like, Which I sick. figured. Um, I'm gonna, like, turn to Agnesis and I'm gonna tell him, like, can we just have a conversation about this without you trying to jump out the damn train window? <laughs> <laughs> We're all adults. And, and Devin, Devin's just going to look and be like, yes, we are all adults here. I'm sure we can come to an amicable solution. The way I see it is whatever happened, both of y'all got screwed. But that... Devin's like, but it's his fault. Technically, he's a he. He tried. You don't do you understand? Like, there's more than just my beef with him. Like, he 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 is an enemy of I get that. the I country. Get that. I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm t one problem at a time, man. Look, man. I figured him spending his whatever time until he rusts to death in jail was going to be equal for me. I'm not going to attack him as long as he agrees not to jump out of the train because I don't want to have to chase him because I probably will beat him down to the ground and just wait for him there. Uncle Aggie, will you please not try to jump out the window? <laughs> or if you do, I'm going to tell Nana. At least Nana won't put me in jail. Yeah, but she'll beat your ass, and that's worse. <laughs> Fine. I'll behave. I'll drop old person. He'll sit. He'll he'll move as far away from you guys as he can, and he'll sit. Uh, the uh, Devin's gonna lean up and go. Uh, if you could. Uh, Kindly divert us off onto a sidetrack and hold us for a little while. They'll let you know when we're good to go back to the capital. Good to go back to the castle. The conductor's just like, Jesus Christ, what a shift. <laughs> <laughs> One day away from retirement, and this is the life I get. 34 years from retirement, my first day on the job. <laughs> Hooey, first day as a crane. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, so he'll stop and just... Amnes, you have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Not a clue. See what you're going to say. Devin's just going to sit there going. <laughs> now, <laughs> like player, player knowledge. <laughs> um, they both, from what I remember, they both told me the same story, but opposite. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to Uncle Aggie. All right, look. I didn't realize you worked with police officers or I wouldn't have joined you. Man, I really tried yeah. to shake you. I did. I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. All right, look, look, here's the thing. If you know anything about what going on with him that could possibly save his life i bet we can make this a little easier for you so if there's something that you held back for me in that story that you told me now might not be such a bad time if you, to what change. exactly did i tell you you told me that you had broken in right and you were there to do bad stuff i know that whatever but that somebody had thrown something at you or hit you with something and it destroyed your body. Yes, I. it was something they took through the scent at us and I deflected it at... and it hit him. 
Uh, and Devin goes, now that's a fucking lie. It was your guy that threw it and hit me, and I was able to deflect it, and it hit you. Insight check on both of them. Okay. Who do you want to do first? Aggie first. Okay. That is a 16. You believe him. And Devin is... Devin's only 11. You believe him. You believe both of them. Soren will kind of chime in, isn't? I mean, we're in a city full of magic. Are we saying they don't know anyone who has magic that could possibly bring us back to said events? To witness it? Like pulling a memory? I mean, I'm sure Parthenon could do something like that. I can technically do it. But if you would rather trust Parthenon... I mean, I don't want to sound insensitive, but you're kind of like a split fitty-fitty here. You're not, like, truly impartial to any one side. I mean, this is where... I mean, I guess you could just not tell Parthenon what it's for and just... Oh, Parthenon would be the most impartial person ever. He doesn't give a shit. Oh, well, then, I mean, would that be the possibly the best option? So that way we can clear this up to some degree? Yeah, we'll clear up the fact that that man is definitely a terrorist to the ground. Technically, weren't you two for a time? I was not a terrorist to the crown. I abandoned the post. That's completely different. I never tried to kill But, Archie. but, but, if something that one or both of you might be able to recall about that night and how things went down were to change your situation, you personally. You mean like give me back my body? Yeah. Get you well for Cal? I mean, Sword if I know a thing go. or two about uh, <laughs> Cal, you know, I mean, I thought, as he's going to point to Miranda, I thought this one was, you know, hungry for action, but Cal would probably, whew. You trying to say, like, are you trying to, like, get me all riled up with thoughts of, like, Cal? I mean, is it working? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it working? In the sense of it's riling me up, yes. In the sense of it's helping your cause, no. Oh, well, never mind. I retract that statement. (laughs) (laughs) I am interested in your uh, your thoughts, uh, Sorn. Nothing against you, uh, Hemnes, but I don't don't know you that well yet. And Miranda is going to be pretty pretty. Pretty skewed towards uh, Chet, so sorry, Dutch. I mean, I think solving this issue, as far as figuring out what the truth is, could be beneficial to, I guess, everyone. All right then. I mean, we're gonna put him in jail for at least tonight. He'll sleep in the dungeons and then ending the castle. You guys will go back to your rooms up at the top of the castle, and we'll have a merry Christmas. And we'll spend tomorrow singing songs, shaking hands, spending time recuperating while he sits in jail for a day while I contact Parthenon. Sound good? Not when you put it that way. It's not even close to Christmas. <laughs> so when I swear to God. <laughs> that sound good to you, Chet? I'm not going to let him stay in a room. No, no, I, I, I know, I know. He'll be given the food and what? Oh, he doesn't need it. He'll be given the oil, whatever he needs. Well, I guess in order to maybe sway Chet's more willingness, maybe something that if it is found with the memory and his cooperation is taken in consideration we'll take that as long as if if we find out he's lying we'll have an issue but uh, and that that's fine that's if he's lying but if he's telling the truth 
uh, or he is showing that he is cooperating and attempting to be helpful in solving this issue, because I imagine, or I would hope to some degree he feels guilty of this situation on several degrees, and especially if he's trying to rebuild his relationship with someone like his nephew, uh, he would want to do everything he can to possibly make sure that he can see his nephew again and possibly have that taken into consideration when sentencing. We'll discuss or... that with with the king, because technically with this level he gets to decide some things, but I will do my best to make the situation as light as possible just because of you guys, but you're also staking your reputation with it, uh, with the king, so uh, if you're Look, choosing I this... Just bridge then you better be willing to walk it so that we don't have to wind up owing you know who another debt facts yeah i don't care if i say his name (laughs) oh really (laughs) (laughs) no look my face i'm not even i'm not looking to to you know add new friend i'm looking more of trying to repair one, I want. I would like to solve this for your sake, Devin, as well as for Cal's sake when she returns. Well, then let's go back. We'll do. I'll do what I can. He'll spend the night and at least tomorrow in jail, and then part of our day with the king. I'll get Parthenon there, and we'll take care of that, huh? All right. All right, let's get moving. Yeah, finally, I'm an hour and a half late from going home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hour and a half. We didn't have that long. <laughs> um, he's Still going to. Uh, he's going to be like, all right. Uh, he's going to throw out some manacles. Chet, you can put them on him. Chet will take them, look at Aggie, and say, are you going to try to run if I do this? Well, um... Because I'll do it again. I mean, I... And, bud. <laughs> Fine. I don't want to. I mean, do the manacles or I sit on you? It's one or the other. <laughs> I'll put the manacles on, and Chet is going to sit next to him and sort of be like, I'm sorry. It's fine. I just figured family might be more important than this, but family anyway, is important. It's fine. So Your decision, I respect and understand it. And that's where we're going to take a break. break so we'll time. be right back in about, mm, we'll say 15 minutes ish. 10 to 15. Be right back. All right, and we're... Oh, my God, that was on. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're back. As you guys pull into the um, station underneath the um, castle, as Devin uh, hops back on Soren's back. <laughs> like a backpack. Backpack, backpack. Um, and... You are uh, walked up to where some guards notice you and walk up and see Agnesis bound. They go, um, sir, what, uh, what's going on? Okay, so uh, take this guy to the dungeon. Take him, I guess, to one of the nicer cells, I suppose. Like, uh, And then make sure he's taken care of. I don't know if he, he doesn't need food or water. But I guess don't treat him that poorly. It's part of the deal, I suppose. Uh, these guys are with me. We're gonna go up. All right, yes, sir. Agnes just looks over at you <sighs> as they walk him off. <laughs> Devin's gonna be like, "Hey, you did good. You did good by me." All right. Well, uh, let's go to your rooms. That way, and he'll like point forward for Soren, like onward. <laughs> And <laughs> he'll make sure, like, kind of hike him up and just start heading that way. So as you guys walk, you guys you're getting get... the same. Yeah, you're gonna be on the same floor, uh, unless uh, you guys want 
shared rooms this time, looking at Chet and Marina. <laughs> okay. Remember, <laughs> no excruciating movement. Oh, uh, that's chest. right. Hemnes is going to have to go through the doorway. I got to hold on. I got to let Parthon know. <laughs> he walks over to like uh as you guys are in the lift he walks over um to a panel in the like on the lift that opens up pulls out a crystal Devin the parthon there's going to be another individual walking through the doorway just to give you a heads up that you haven't scanned yet okay closes it boom, boom. <coughs> door opens after you, Hemnes, you gotta walk through. Okay. It's just gonna the long short of it, it's just gonna read your your deepest thoughts and everything, so uh <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> it's just to make sure you're not secretly here to kill somebody. I'm just gonna <laughs> As you uh, as you walk through, you don't feel anything. But all right, that's done. Everyone else, go Alarm on. Alarm go off everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Devin, you see uh, another individual comes over with another wheelchair. You put me down in that. Thank you. All right, uh, you guys. See you in the morning. I'm gonna roll down the hallway. You know the the same individuals that were there to like stand outside your door. Oh, hello, welcome back. We're so glad you're staying with us again. Um, and who is this individual? Uh, this is uh, our friend and compatriot, Ebenezer. You're right. And where he is your your the... Simeon friend? Uh, he was called away by Paylor. All right. Interesting. Um, what kind of room would you like? Define. Like, Define room. <laughs> the finest room. <laughs> like, would you like it to be more humble for your monkedness, or would you like something with a little more expression? Soren will lean over. They changed the rooms to your liking. Oh, um, what would you find comfortable? Me? <laughs> yes. Um, oh, I, su I suppose I've never really thought about it, but if I had to pick something, I would have to say a, a quiet room with books to read and some good tea to drink. Oh, Most maybe. likely, maybe some soft music playing in the background. Hmm. I like your taste. I'll go with that. Well, all right, one moment. He'll walk over to the door. You see him start to turn a dial. just And just a flat, like a whoop whoop from the uh, this actual dial. Your room is ready, Sir Hemney. Enjoy. Thank you. The rest of your... Such a... <laughs> what do you like? I've never been asked that before. <laughs> Um, so like your it. room, your room is exactly the way you left it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for your joint room, as I've been told, would you like a mixture of your two, or would you like something new? The start of something new. Do you have a honeymoon suite? <laughs> Can't hear it, Nancy. <laughs> That's better. I, I don't say it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I want you to say it. Say it. No. Your dungeon no. master demands you say it. No. Um, <laughs> besides, there's like a day left, anyways. So it's like better not to accommodate the room how I don't want it. Um, anything that would make. So just hand stuff. I forgot your name. Chat. <laughs> Uh, comfortable for and some lube. <laughs> um, I mean, just hand stuff. You need lube, friction. Okay, you're like awkwardly <laughs> go over and just. What would you make you? Gotta accommodate. 
comfortable, Mr. Boone. <laughs> Mr. As Boone. I'm like, as like blushing, he's just gonna mumble to not be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> <Mr>. Understandable. <laughs> He'll just turn the dial and um, like, <laughs> That works. <laughs> What's the dial setting for lube? <laughs> there you go. Enjoy your room. Would that make it astral plane glide? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, Sean, quick on he, the draw. He cast Meteor Shower and you all die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I'm good. <laughs> I didn't realize he was Sephiroth. <laughs> um, you all go into your, the three rooms. Enjoy your evening. Food is there, or if you'd like to order, please use one of the gems inside of the room. If you need anything, please. He'll look to Chet and Marina. Hesitate before asking. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, she won't. Mm, she's just going to close the door. I guess we all go in our room. Okay, is there anything you guys want to do? Your room, um, Hamdi's, is it's kind of like a quiet study. It is two floors. You have your upper floor, which is has uh, multiple rooms to sleep in, but their other rooms have been transformed into various studies and a tea room and a nice meditation room. Uh, you also on the bottom level have a large uh, fire pit with uh, a couch on it. There's a large window that sees out, um, and then it has a kitchen. Ooh. Just kind of explore the room a little bit. Like, hmm. This is the fanciest thing you've ever been in. It's like I sit in a seat, and I move and sit in another seat. This is the comfiest <laughs> chair. No, this is the comfiest chair. <laughs> um, Soren, yours is exactly the same, pretty... Modest, nothing too elegant, a lot of food. Uh, Chet Morena's, yours, everything is, all the seats and everything have been made to fit two people. So <laughs> love seats and various things. The, the, it's very, it's in a nice, comfortable temperature. You know, it's not cold or too hot. It's the inner, it's very meant for relaxing, being in more relaxation clothes. Uh, there are there's things like chocolates and uh, various sweets and and candies and nuts and very like snacky foods and there is a, a nice fire that's not roaring but it's it's up enough where it casts a nice glow around the room. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, it's it's perfect mood. <laughs> okay, you guys spend the evening. Uh, Brandon. Yes. I think we all know how the evening is going to be spent. All right. Nope. So that's how that evening spent. Uh, nice massage. Okay, everyone, take your long rest. <laughs> I was say, Soren's probably going to eat and drink and just relax. And Yay. Um, um, I will say, Soren probably will uh, pull out his rune book, look through it, and. Attempt another prayer. <laughs> More runes have been exposed. Oh wow! Make your prayer. All right. That's only a fourteen. Nothing happens after you pray, so you go to bed. Yep. There, your night is spent. Chet Marina's night spent. Yep, yep, yep. Um, <laughs> Emnes, what are you doing? Still trying out chairs and have some tea. Just kind of <laughs> relax. Yep. So, okay, so you all go to bed. Uh, I guess, guess Miranda, roll me a performance. Yep. Okay. Please. Don't damn it. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> now, Randy, <Morning>. quick. <laughs> <laughs> With all of our increase and stuff, do we want to have it so our HP resets? Or because I know you said it was going to take a few days for us to yes, reset heal your health. from yeah. the... reset uh, your health. I just wanted. To... What was it? It's a dirty twenty. That's all we're gonna say. <laughs> it's a dirty twenty. Um, all right. 
dirtiest of 20. As you all go to sleep, we're going to start with uh, Chet. As you sleep, after the ni- the events of the previous day, you are stricken with memories of Bella and memories of Falister and everything and how your hatred for him is now just reignited. You pushed him away. You weren't thinking about him. When you thought of Bella, you thought of heartbreak, but you weren't thinking of him as the reason. You just knew you didn't want to think about him. Now you know he still thinks about you and has problems with you. And as you sleep, you steal your mind as thoughts of Morena lay sleeping next to you, comforted by her next to you. You, you. you get senses of waves of relief as you're visited by Mana. And she spends time telling you how lucky you are and how you must have done something to make the divine fates happy because you shouldn't be alive and you have her to thank for it. She protected you with her life. She healed you. She took care of you. And you feel emboldened by that. Shut up, Sorn. Yes. Um, Go up a level. Morena. Sleeping next to Chet, this is one of the most calmest nights. After a day where you thought, after this new love had blossomed, um, you were worried you were going to lose him just as fast as you found him. And he's alive, and he's next to you, and he's getting better. But you feel something within you. The connection you have with him has allowed your your mind and soul to grow to a new level and as your aberrant soul shifts and shakes and breaks as it grows you get a more sense that it might be time if you want to live your life Ubrin will be there and you're going to need to take care of him as you dream with Chet there you dream of Ubrin finding you and chasing you but you, what normally in those dreams of Ubrin finding you and chasing you is you alone, with no one around. You look to your left, and there's Sorn and Hemnes, and you look to your right, holding hands with Chet. You feel confident and emboldened that the dream of Ubrin no longer following you could be a reality. Gain a level. Sorn. As you sleep, you feel yourself fall through the bed. As you fall and fall and fall, you feel like you're falling through a storm, through the same place you've fallen through before, time and time again. Normally you fall either onto the beach or into the ocean. At this point, you are caught. You're falling as two hands, massive hands, come out and catch you. You stand, looking at the hands, looking at the arms, tracing them up to the face. You see your own face. I marked out just as your eye is, though covered with runes. You feel emboldened and, and, and empowered as the runes that you've been reading the night before you fell asleep begin to swirl around you as they begin to become more clear in their message and their meaning and their power. Gain a level. Hemnes. The worry of your father's missing 
since for a while now hasn't really been something you've been focused on. You've been more focused on gaining knowledge and, and, and bettering yourself and in following what your grandfather told you, which was to experience life and don't worry about the things that you can't control and that through your own path, you'll find out what happened to your father. And if not, it wasn't meant to be. Uh, but in this dream you're having, you feel and you look down and you see your key, the, the whitish yellow key of your healing, which with the purplish black of your necrotic swirling in yin, yin and yang as one side begins to take over the other. Your necrotic way of harm begins to take root in your, what normally would be the chakra of fire within your stomach. And it begins to spread out through your body. As you feel the familiar hand of your father press in on the key point of the top of your head. A, gra a, f a feeling that you felt before whenever your father was teaching you how to unlock key and how to take care of people. You feel this thumb push down on the crown of your head as the balance begins to restore. And you hear in your father's voice, I am always watching, my son. Gain a level. As morning comes, the sound of a storm is pitter-pattering against the windows of the castle. You all wake up feeling refreshed and empowered. The day is yours. You guys are all. If you guys would like to talk through your leveling, I'm, I'm sure fans at home would love to hear your thought process. <laughs> like I wanted to like let you finish before I started touching things. Yep, you're all leveled up. Level eleven. <laughs> Bad ow. Oh. So, uh, have you have these? You're going straight up into a level of monk, right? Yeah. And Chet, you're going to go continue into wizard, and Marina, you're going to continue into sorcerer. <laughs> no, I was thinking the no, no yeah. Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> that Azazel guy change. looks pretty cool. That you could technically guys. multi class. I don't think you should, but <laughs> you could. Okay, so, we're going to talk after this. <laughs> So, uh, what are you guys doing in the morning? I'm sleep well, I'm not sleeping in, but I woke up just lying there, especially after the thoughts of last night. I'm just going to stay there, holding close to Chet. Not really talking, just holding, taking in the moment. Got it. Chet, what are you doing? Well, you know what Chet's doing. Trying to go another round. <laughs> no. If if Morena's holding him, I guess yeah. he's holding her back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys spend the morning just slowly getting out of bed, Sorn? Uh he would probably get like a mug of mead and watch the storm for a bit. Are you gonna take the multi class? Yeah, I'm bummed because the level 11, I like the level 11 barbarian thing. You don't have to. Uh, well, oh, I just, well, I mean, because I'll get it eventually, I imagine. R remind me real quick, how many new spells am I learning for level 2? It should be automatically done because it's, it should be plus your intelligence month. No, wait, that's well, what you're I, get, I get one to, I get one to prepare. We'll say you get to learn. Day three. Okay. You need to look up Fair that. Enough. We can always change that. Hemnes, you get your improved ability is now you can end a disease by using your healing hands. Ooh. 
Level 11, yeah, he gets to uh, spend a key point to end disease now. Just like, oh, Devin! <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's not disease. <laughs> if, only that was a, if only it was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I, I like, because at level 11 Barbarian, you get Relentless Rage, which means, like, if I die, I can make a DC... Te, uh, DC ten constitution, constitution save. I can drop to one hit point instead. Like I'm just like so angry. I don't die. I'm like that's great. <laughs> but I think I can wait on that for a little bit, and I can start the multi classing. Okay. Because if people haven't figured out yet, Sorn's looking to multi class as a rune knight. Does it kind of make sense? Yes. yes. Multi class as a what? Fighter. Uh, rune rune- knight. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a knight where it's a rune knight where you can use the runes of giants to your advantage. Yep. Hmm. Uh, so let's see. I guess let's Do add level fighter. fighter. So you all spend your mornings um, thinking about the events of the previous night as you uh, are all eventually has a rap on your door of. Do you need anything? You all here at the same time at your door. Uh, Sorn will open the door and pull, because uh, he likes talking to people face to face. Hello, Mr. Quietly... Jotun, hi. Hello. Um, I can't say anything right now. Uh, I will probably just spend some time recuperating from my injuries. Uh, just so you know, your presence has been requested in the Royal Art Gallery at noon. No, all of Thank you. you. <laughs> all right, noon. Uh, which way would be the art gallery? <laughs> no, just uh, I will direct you there whenever it's time. Thank you. Have knees? Um. I'll open the door and open the door. How did how did you like your room last night? I liked it. You again have very good taste. Thank In you. In fact, would you like some tea? Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to have any drinks while on the clock. That's understandable. Maybe another time. Indubitably, I should sir. I inform Sorn, but I'll also inform you. Your presence has been requested at the Royal Art Gallery at noon. It is now around 10 a.m., so you got two hours. Cool. Thank you. Chet and Morena? Does anyone go to the Uh, door? Start getting ready. Okay. Uh, Yes. Good morning. (laughs) Good morning. How was your night last night? Was the room to your satisfaction? Don't answer yes. that. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is. I'm so glad. I tell you in detail. Please do not. <laughs> uh, you sure your you presence did? has been requested at noon in the Royal Art Gallery. How to? At noon. Two hours from now. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she knew the time. <laughs> okay. If you Thank need you anything, the... please let me know. As he'll walk off. So you guys just gonna get ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Around eleven thirty, Hemnes, you hear a in your on the upper landing. As you look up and you hear Oh, it's just one of you in the room this time. Well, I guess I picked one of you. As you see, he'll just... A white-skinned, white-haired, white-horned tiefling sitting feet up at one of the chairs. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Your name was... Fox. Fox. Got it. I'm actually quite glad I showed up in your room. 
gives me a chance to get to know you. What do you know about me? Uh, to be honest, not a whole lot. I know you were on the train, and I know you can uh, do what you just did. <laughs> Indeed I can. It's one of my many, many charms. Is wherever I am needed, I can be. So, from what I gather about you, as he'll, he'll stand up and walk... Are you seated? Yeah. He'll walk over behind you and just look like it, like next to you and look at you. Hemnes, you're a man who has detached himself from the world, separated what most would consider a normal family member to worry about, and you've let them go. Maybe you'll find them one day. I can assist in that. As he'll wrap around the other side, I can help you find your father. I appreciate it, but if he wants to be found, he'll be found. I figured you'd say something like that. Well, no matter. It's not my place to force. I have made an agreement with the Stormbreakers to only work with them in deals they accept, but I hope you and I can find a way to come to terms and find our own deal. If that makes sense. I would love to help you. I would love to ensure that you are well taken care of as one of my a new favorite people on this realm of existence. Though I will be seeing you again. I don't know if they informed you about the Warlock games. No um, idea what that is. They haven't told you everything. Well, I can't wait for you to meet Cal again. Well, for the first time. I'm sure you've heard about her. I've heard the name, but... Oh, let me tell you everything she's done. As he'll, ap he'll pull a cup of tea to him. And he is going to just lay bare every bad thing Cal has done. <laughs> the sold souls, the lying, the stealing, the, the manipulation, the who her dad is. She's so, great. <laughs> you've gotten all the dirt on Cal now. I can't wait for you to meet her. She's actually a relative of mine. Hmm. We sure have been meeting a lot of relatives lately. Oh yes, Agnesis, <laughs> one of Ka one of Chet's family members. I was actually hoping to talk to him. I'd love to be able to help his uncle. If you can actually get them for me, or actually, I think I can. As you see, two more of him split off of him. You know, wave them off as you hear, oh, Stormbreakers, at both of your doors. Hang on, let me get a shirt. Oh. Shirtless, I see. That is a neat trick. <laughs> it is. It comes with the territory. <laughs> so. Did you guys go to the door? Yeah, yes. Yes. Hello. As you see the butler going, wait, who are you? What if you hold your horse? And he's just going to point his finger. Tell him to stop moving. It's okay, sir. It's fine. But I... I... What? what? Charles is going to be like, uh-uh, no... No more words. I need you to roll persuasion, Chet. Can I actually use my... Um, can I use my charm person, my eyes? On... 
the guard. The the butler. The butler, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's gonna try and make a save. What is it? It's it's only a thirteen. <laughs> no, you succeed. <laughs> you you he's charmed. Uh, he's, he's like, what uh, do you need? It, it's fine. We we're gonna have some privacy with our with our uh, good pal here. Yeah, it only lasts for a minute. Uh, no need to worry. <laughs> we'll be at the gallery at noon. <laughs> we'll 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 be at the gallery at noon. <laughs> Fox is going to look at you and go real smooth. <laughs> Come now, we must go to your goat friend. I hope he's not too Billy Goat Gruff. <laughs> ha! That's beneath you. You're beneath me. As you walk out into the hallway. <laughs> As he disappears, that one who's walking you, Sorn, disappears. And the other one disappears. After about a minute, you hear in the hallway as you guys are walking to the Hemnes' room. Mm. He's still in the hallway. He's just freaked out right now. <laughs> I'll try to calm him down and he'll do a persuasion check. Persuasion check. I help. With advantage, then. Uh, 16. Fine, now wait, but you have 10 minutes before I am going to call the guards. He no needs worries, to be gone you. by then. Understood. As you see, at this point, uh, he has already poured Hemnes a very, like, like, there's been a few, like, the Hemnes and Fox are having just a decent time. There, Fox is just swapping stories about, you know, different things he's seen. Hemnes is doing the same. <laughs> um, would you like some food, Hemnes? I'm okay for now. Would you like anything? Oh, don't. I can take. He'll snap his fingers and you see a platter of food come over. Ooh, lady fingers. <laughs> Actual lady fingers. <laughs> uh, Chet will politely mention that they have less than ten minutes. Uh, I didn't imagine I'd have very long. What a beautiful day, wouldn't you say, Sor? He's just got his mug of mead still with him. Just... So... About the problem we share. Is there a way we can come to terms and work together? Really haven't had much time to think about it. Well, now you have Been a little bit. eight and a half minutes. That may be a struggle for you, yes, but... Well, Hemnes, what do you think? You're the only one apparently willing to talk to me. Is there a way we can strike a deal or solve for maybe helping someone's uncle? <laughs> As he's going to, he's going to apparate behind you, Chet. I thought, the deal was, I thought the deal was to help Devin. Oh, but I, I, if and you need more reason to. I figured your uncle would be a better person for you to help. I mean, well, my, my, my. As he if he did something wrong, then that's kind of his own problem. How noble of you. <sighs> well, do we have a deal then? You get what Bellington soul. exactly sold. is your Get me Bellington's soul. I will confirm okay. it this time. I didn't think I'd have to do All that right. last time. 
And if it is truly Bellington's soul, then I will do one of two things, your choice. If you're able to get me Bellington's soul and destroy his monstrosity keeper, I will use... I'm the only one who knows <laughs> Yeah, you guys are all like, who's keeper? <laughs> monstrosity? <laughs> Um, I will be inclined to use some of my sway to heal Devon entirely. When you say heal him entirely, you mean... I will not will... pull funny business, Mr. Businessman. I'm will... just looking for specifics, that's I all. If we're going to make an arrangement, curse. I want to what I'm agreeing to. I will take the curse that has been marked upon his soul and transfer it to someone else. To who? Mm, no one you that. know. That's, that's still not exactly agreeable. Then you Some won't child. get the agreement. You don't need, and he's going to like sit up. You don't need to know who I'm giving it to. You need to be under, able to understand in your brains that I'm going to do you a massive favor and take it away. Either take it or leave it. If you get me just Bellington's soul, then I will point you in the correct direction to find that artifact that you need to reverse it. I'm giving you a choice between guaranteed safety and if you fuck up, then it's gone. But I should expect no less, as he's going to put down his teacup in, like, in front of him knees. I should expect no less from you at this point. Chet's gonna turn to the others. Look, whatever you guys want to do, I'll back your plays, but I'm gonna abstain from voting on this one. Well, there was a flaw, is that he has told us that there's an artifact. You Chet knew about it. I knew nothing. That yes, you, you, you did. It was the. Um... Did we? Did we? <laughs> well, you, <laughs> guys, you guys might have forgotten. Uh, but it was the artifact that they was stolen from the dryads. Remember, it was alluded to that they oh, could... Oh, we didn't know the same thing. Yeah, we... We, we would same... have no idea. We yeah. know that they were looking for an artifact. We, you were... Was, there are many artifacts to... the same. It, well, yeah, okay, you are correct. It, it was alluded to that there was an artifact, though, that could heal Devin. You guys knew there was one that could heal him. Yes. I don't remember you, but, I I promise you, I told you guys straight up that there was an artifact that if you found it, could heal Devin. And you guys are like, okay, we need to find it. It was months ago, so I'll give you the leeway. But you do know of one. Well, you know one exists in that Azazel is looking for it. I'm the new guy here, so I will, I will go with what the party... So it's Soren's decision, because Morena, what are you going to say? I'm neutral. <laughs> so it's Soren's decision. Devin would never forgive Soren for passing on the curse to someone else without knowing who it was going to. And Soren's not down to make more deals with Fox. Bellington should be dealt with, but he's not going to write himself into a contract with Fox again. I mean, it's been established Soren doesn't like making deals anymore. <laughs> Okay. So what are you telling him? Sword's going to be like, thanks, but no thanks. Not signing a contract with you for a curse to be passed on to someone without knowing who it is, because Devin would never forgive us for that, for damning someone else. Oh, yes, because Devin would need to know. Because you're going to refuse. Yes, Devin would need to know. All right, then. I guess... Good luck. I should have expected no less. As, he'll, as he, like, <clears throat> tenses up and you see the flame in the fireplace begin to pick up in, in intensity and heat. I will not forget this. You had your chance. I was trying to be 
amicable and work with you and give you a straight, honest deal, as I promised last time. But I see to get things done, I'm going to need to take out more insurances. Well then, goodbye. He's going to stand up and just walk away. And as he does, the fire goes out. As he walks away, Are we screwed, <laughs> guys? Honestly, there's only one person in this world I think I'd want to be okay with passing that thing on to, but I, even now I'm not that cold-hearted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not going to give it to himself. Well, I wasn't talking <laughs> about him, but hey, why not? Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're taking Bellington down. I that mean, guy yeah, sucks. that the, he needs he needs to go, but the, and I mean we know that there's an artifact that can help. I mean, we have people like Azazel out looking for it to help Tal, and we know what exists. It's all about asking questions. And to be honest, it sounds like he can't do the job himself. So of course he's asking us beneath him, lowly shit piles. <laughs> I just do don't know for. why he keeps thinking that he's offering us good deals. I mean, when has one of his deals ever worked out for Tal? Look where it got her. Why do you think I'm, I'm done making deals with him? That's Cal's fault. That was Cal's fault. Did you be? Someone's not rubbing it. It's like devil's advocate. funny that you mentioned Cal. We had a conversation. We've heard some stuff. I mean, it sounds like Cal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you have a question about something? Or... No, just verification. That that she What exists? do you want to know? <laughs> She's an angry drunk. That's all in fine, but... Does... <clears throat> Knowing what I know, is this still a good person? Yes. That's all I need to know. I mean, she hates her bloodline because they're all evil. She um, hates that guy, that's for sure. She hates that guy very much so. That explains a lot of what was said. All I need to know. But, but from what I know about her, yes, she's made some not-so-great choices. Well, like you said, saying the same about everyone. <laughs> so I mean, after well, about... Ten minutes, you hear. Open the Open door. door. <laughs> Is he gone? Yeah. All right. I will need to report this to Parthon. That's fine. Yeah, tell him to up his defenses. <laughs> <laughs> Can do. It uh, it's about time good. for us to go to the, the art gallery. Fair enough. All right. <sighs> So as you guys walk your way through, there, um, it's it's a pretty quiet day in the castle. You go down a few floors and you walk past magnificent statues and various paintings of uh, countryside and festivals and the various royalty. Um, you see uh, a small painting of of Devon doing like one of these like <laughs> Jesus, what's this fable? Pretty much. I like a bit. He's funny. <laughs> and then, like, it says, like, Royal Guard. <laughs> um, you all make your way into the room where um, you see it appears to be a large, a, a pretty large canvas um, sits uh, on, a, on an easel ready to be painted on as a familiar face comes around. Oh, hello. You're one, the only, Z-Man, your bracelet-making buddy. <laughs> this is all tough. He comes over. Oh, hello. I've, I've uh, been hired to paint for you, to paint uh, the Stormbreakers. 
Wait, what now? <laughs> yes, you have uh, been noticed as one of the, uh, how should they say it, uh, royally ordained uh, protectors of the uh, country? I mean, no offense, but that's kind of just this guy. <laughs> yes, but it would be very sad if he was standing alone in a large picture. Would it help if I put on horns and painted myself red? No, I Or maybe already... if she... I mean, she's blue. You can paint Liren. No, no, I already have them. And he'll pull out a crystal and, like, I already have them. Oh, you're adding everyone who's been part of the group thus far as yes. well. Yes. It's a good thing, yes. I guess that makes me feel a little bit better. Of course, you will be in the center, then. Look, look right now. You will be in the All center. Right. You're also the biggest person. It'd be very strange to put you off to one of the sides. It would throw off the entire gem uh, your geometry. Also, who is this? He's going to point to Emmys. Hi. This is the newest <laughs> member of the Stormbreaker. That is the monkey. Um, uh, he Lord took him? God things. <laughs> You know how deities can be. Where is my bracelet? That's a good question. Um, it was uh, what was the guy's name that took it? That Oathbreaker Paladin. Uh, God, what was his name? It started with the F. Freak. <laughs> you were saying someone uh, who isn't know. one of you has it. Yeah. Yes. Well, he did chop off Solomon's hand and steal it. Hmm. Yeah, that some nasty painful? bits. Um, so, two questions then. Two Very answers. Right. Do you need what? another? And will uh, you be getting my old one back? I mean, the goal would be to get it back. Yes, we had to have to deal with uh, uh, Fredericksburg. I mean, uh, it's a strange name. Pretty sure it was Franklin. Franklin. Frank. I don't. Philip? I don't give Van Sai Shaisa about his his name. Fable. Ah, it was Fable. Shut mm. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the goal is. Back. Um, I mean, because the 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 guy is a bad guy anyway, so we should probably deal with him as you know, royal. Protectors, I guess, um, you know, be part of our job. Um, so yes. So you need another one. Uh, uh well, I mean, Chet doesn't have one, and that would mean Hemni also does have one. Get Hemni's first. I can use oh, my other God. spells if I need to. No, I can make some more. I just need... Are you going to be in in, in the castle today? I mean, yes, we have an audience with the king within the next day. I think tomorrow is when we meet the king. And we're staying in the castle. Okay, they're good, they're good. Um, give me yours. snatches it away from you okay so i remember we made a deal for the other one you would go to the artificers up at the northern part of the city and help them um mm. i'm going to let them know that the favor you're going to be doing will be much bigger okay since your money is apparently always spent before you get to me <laughs> Hello, I am Zulto. I am the, uh, is your group's, I guess, magical item aficionado. Um, I work for Vasily's Vander Emporium. Emporium. What's that? He's going to pull you, <laughs> hand you a business card. That looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> Available on Redbubble. <laughs> <laughs> Wes's Wonder Emporium t-shirts designed by Rollcall. Viable by you. Shameless self promotion. <laughs> it's very oh, good. So on Thunderfish shirt, complete with runes. Or the or roll the call tab tablecloth. <laughs> or the Calamine tapestry. All right, moving on. <laughs> or you're very young. <laughs> so on Thunderfish put yeah. Okay, so um. 
I... action figure. <laughs> With <laughs> dual <laughs> hand chopping action. Life, death, life, death. Um, <laughs> so uh, I will be making both you and Chet uh, some bracelets so you may communicate with your team. Hmm. Um, it normally costs quite a bit of money, but at this point, I think I can just ask for you to do whatever I need, and you should help me. <laughs> so hopefully I'm going to spend, I guess, after spending four hours painting you, I'm going to spend the rest of the night making two more bracelets. By I'm the way, trying... I just the whole time he's talking, Chet is mumbling different F letter names. So is Soren. Not paying attention to any <laughs> of this, so someone's going to have to book. Chet. So, um, please stand uh, next to each other. I guess we'll put Soren and Zin Hemnes a little bit forward, and uh, Chet and Morena, you can stand beside each other on the on the. I guess uh, like he's going to space you out as he takes out crystals and places on the ground as holograms of these individuals. So we have Raygorn, Cal, Liren, um, Bilal, Leon, 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 Sol Solomon, all pop out and, and fill out this group as Hemnes, um, Solomon's a little bit farther out, so it goes like, you guys are, you're about two people away from Soren. Soren's in the dead center. All right, I need uh, everyone to stand still so I can get your outlines and paint. So just don't move for a while, okay? Just, uh, in fact, do you guys want me to help you with this? Oh, God, he's going to cast hold person or something. Uh, <laughs> Chet is going to grab her on his hands. Uh, smile, smiles. This is oh, going to already in. doing that. <laughs> This is going to be in the annals of time forever. <laughs> As he's going to cast whole person on all four of you. Oh, jeez. As you guys are all in your smiley like... <laughs> and after four hours, he just constantly upping it like... He's pretty much blowing everything he's got to just hold it on you. Um, after about, you know, after how many spell slots he has. He's like, okay, I need to take a short break. Uh, one moment so you guys can walk around. <laughs> Why did I get this vision of like in the future, Sorn is by himself with the painting with X's over all the members who have died? And it's like this post apocalyptic. I'm the only one left. I'm the only one left. Oh, God, I have That's to sad. kill. Fuck. That's sad. That is sad, but. Um, Logan. <laughs> but Sorn. So after a little bit of time, he comes back. Okay, I've had a break. I have recharged. Uh, get back into your positions. <laughs> And here we go. And he finishes as he turns. And it's a stunning master credit, like master work painting of all of you in, you know, all together. It looks like a large family, a large eclectic family. Soren, you have a drink. So does Cal. Liren has um, Cornelius still. Raygorn's there, like, Rip trying to, like, nudge... Uh, cow to be like, look at that over there. Bilal is, has like the moon above him. Leon's like, has the tattoo still. You two, Trent and Morena are holding hands. You guys weren't leaning in towards each other, but he painted you leaning in towards each other. Uh, and he has Hemnes just like smiling, but also meditating. Is <laughs> Boopal Snoop there? Yes, Booble Snoot is there. And Rest squid. and squids. Yes. Squidge is around Chet's neck. Booble Snoot is on. Uh, you guys are holding hands, and Booble Snoot's like, like on top of your hands, holding you guys together. And with that, that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh, the sword like, bursts in the oh my God. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Tell me about all these people. Solomon the has times. the son of Paylor. I just wanted to say, God damn it, Brandon, this session, we're just like every five seconds. <laughs> well, okay. Every five. <laughs> That's right. On that note. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Soren, give him the rundown.
All right, so with the end of this session, that means this video will be posted on YouTube on Monday. If you are currently in chat looking at Cymerk and, uh, what is it, the Rono Gamer. The Rono Gaming. That would be them, I believe, talking about Vampire. Because if I remember last session, someone got C3PO'd. Somebody got, somebody was already C3, I just PO'd him. Yeah. <laughs> Which will be tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, at the RPG table. I threw that link in chat as well. Right, and if you missed that session, they do do a recap on Sunday called The Last Breath on the same uh, channel, uh, where they kind of talk about their last session. Uh, which then brings us to, again, Monday, where this video will be posted. And then, much like that, we have on Thursday our recap episode, History Check, um, where you can check your history as far as what happened in this session if you missed it. Like, it came at the very end, or uh, we're just going to start doing them on Thursday for people to catch up. And then Friday, uh, we'll be playing again. Yay! Yay! Also, don't forget to check out... Uh... Tragic Backstory, which is our DM Brandon's personal stream. Hello. As a uh, pretty soon coming up, I think there's a pretty special stream that's coming up, isn't there, Brandon? Uh, <laughs> I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Club. Because yes. virus. Yeah. Oh. But he'll have to play Doki Doki. So now that was because you hit that was your hundred uh, yep. follower. Goal. I'm at 110. Yeah, so. When I hit 125, I'm going to have to figure something else out. And then after, actually, we're going to say 150 because I can't keep doing 25 increments or I always have something. Nope, no, we're going to keep them at 25. So how many for Silent Hill? Yeah, 150. For which one, though? Yeah, for which one? That's a good question. <sighs> um, that's a good question. My personal favorite is three, but I know a lot of people really like two. So Silent Hill 2. And luckily, you supplied Brandon with things to play on older systems, too. It's true. Uh, so. 666 six, six, six for Silent six, Hill. No, how about 666 how about six, six, six for, like, the evil within? Fair. Fine. Mm. Do you have a game cool. that I could uh, lend you Eternal Darkness? Oh, God. Okay, we're going to figure that out. Just come and check out Tragic Baxter <laughs> if you want to help figure that out. We also have a Discord for this and Tragic Backstory, so follow us uh, on the Discord. If you need an invite, message one of us. We'll get you into the Discord. Oh, God. Uh, I hope yeah, you guys you enjoyed the session. Me. Can't wait to see you guys next week. So, until next week, thank you guys so much. See ya!